Hey, what's up, guys? We watched every episode of Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated Season 2. If you guys want us to binge entire series like this, then leave other series in the comments that you would like for us to watch. And if you want to see the uncut version of our reactions, go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash spilling the mill. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Run for your lives! He's back! <laughs> I'm sorry. Ooh, we got who? we got Batman villains now. This doesn't seem like a Batman villain. Krusty the Clown out here, like Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> we start no, with the what is happening? <laughs> this is insane. Man, baby, not real. Man, baby, not real. <laughs> <laughs> this is a f thing. Oh my god, he almost died! If you ask me, I'd say it's a mystery. Who, who are you? This sounds like the well, Jackbox TV, guy, like, voice. Who is gonna be in the mask? That's probably Velma in there, to be honest. Scooby's in prison? He's Scooby's in the, in the pound! It's called the pound for dogs, come on, man. I made a promise to my friends, because if I don't, he wins. Serious Scooby is like the funniest thing ever created. Mystery Incorporated is so weird because like Scooby literally has like a hundred more IQ points than any other <laughs> Scooby-Doo franchise. Fine, stay here and let him milk you. Nobody milks Scooby-Doo. Nobody milks Scooby. What type of fucking farm is this? This is not a normal farm. They're shooting at him? What the what fuck? The fuck? Oh my. It's like the chicken run farm. It's like so huge that they're plotting a revolution. My name is Janet Nettles. I'm the new mayor of Crystal Cove. Oh, she a bad thing though. Why she got the butt chin though? She actually draws that in herself. It's part of her makeup. Rather hippie. Did I not tell you to shave that? Oh my, oh god. my god, he's bald. This is terrifying. I hate this so much. Shaggy's been listening to a bit too much Drake right now. He's got the he's got the fade. Um <laughs> This is what I thought was going to happen, that they would split them all up at the end of season one. And then probably within 10 minutes, they'd find a way to just bring them all back together. Yeah, like, that's kind of how it goes. Hello, sir, madam. Could you tell me if Brad Childs or Judy Reeves lives here? Fred. Average spilling the milk viewer right here. Where's the next Mystery Inc. video, bro? Fred! <laughs> Shaggy, Scooby, what are you doing? Why doesn't Fred look them up on just Google? Fred definitely doesn't know how to use a computer. Find somebody else. But Fred, he's also an evil clown. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, did the crybaby clown major in like biomed or something? And that's why he has all these fucking bombs. Hey, I know this net. You should. You built it. That's Velma. It's, yeah. Velma? Who were you expecting? I knew it. <laughs> I oh knew my it. god. I fucking I knew, knew it. it. Boyfriend? That guy? Daphne is dating the Giga Chad. No, that's the that's the Twilight Man. That's Twilight Man. Oh my god. I forgot his name. Jacob. Like, is it me? Or does that dude look a lot like that famous actor from all those dusk movies? Oh my you god, it literally, it literally is! Literally it literally is! Oh Jacob. my god. I told Daphne you. is dating Taylor Lautner. That's you. fucking awesome. <gasps> Baylor, look! A hobo! <laughs> <laughs> This is sad, bro. Like, if I was Fred, I, I'd, I'd be getting closer to that cliff behind him. I can't thank you all enough for coming back. The town and I are grateful. Why does she got, like, a bib, though? Can we talk about, like, she has, like, a baby bib. It's she's the thing. baby? Oh, my God, you're right. But maybe she's, she, the baby. she's wearing the bib. That's why she's the bib. Oh, my God, Jack. You're so smart. I'm a genius. You're so smart. Yay. You want your tourism back? You're going to pay me. Five million dollars. Five, Five million, million dollars. This is like a tiny ass bumfuck town. Five million dollars? Dad, who is. <gasps> Dad, 
I'll handle this. No. Did you not? Didn't she, she not homeless. notice him before? Crystal Cove is in trouble, and without you, I'm through with mystery solving. You don't really mean that, do you? What is Daphne's like contribution to the mystery squad? We've set up our zombie donut shop in the one part of Crystal Cove Crybaby Clown hasn't hit. That's some good zombie like makeup. Yeah, they what put the a hell? lot of. They spent like so long modeling that. No, donuts good, just like brains. Are you calling my mommy a liar? No, I'm calling her a whore. <laughs> okay, I don't even care anymore, dude. Huh? Huh? What? <laughs> Daphne, now! Daphne. Where's Daphne? Is Why would stupid? you incorporate her into the plan? Because <laughs> he, he already... He, he was already... so sure that she would show up. <laughs> That's why they broke up. Daphne isn't c***ing. Well, I think it's safe to say if the town didn't hate us before, this should certainly do the trick. Bro, they Vigano. burned the town down. It I looks like the entire town just got like pillaged. Are we going to spend two episodes with the fucking I clown baby? Do we have to spend two? Please tell me we don't have to spend two whole episodes with the clown baby. Previously on Mystery Incorporated... Hot dog water? Why are we knowing about hot dog water? Is hot dog water gonna replace Daphne? Okay, if hot dog water replaces Daphne, both of you have to get on your knees and suck my pants. Can we shake hands? All right, sounds good. Russia. Russia. Hot dog water's in Russia. Never mind, it's two robots. Uh, they're not robots, they're in suits. Grow up, okay? What? Ew, I was right. I was. I was right. Hot dog water is actually replacing <laughs> Daphne. What the fuck? Do they have hot dogs in Russia? No, it's a strictly American thing. No other country. I heard they only drink hot dog water in Russia. They can't afford like the, the other water. <laughs> yeah, we actually ship them our used hot dog water. Wait, blood? Are they allowed to have blood in this cartoon? I didn't know that. Only in the Russian scenes, not in the America scenes, though. Do we not have an intro anymore? I'm fucking depressed. But I like it when it goes bum bum It's pretty cool. It sounds it's like incredible. Yeah, but it's not Don't worry, hot dog water. I think it's a great idea. And by the way, my real name, it's Marcy. <laughs> she doesn't care. She doesn't care. Velma does not give a shit about her. I'm just confused. Hot dog water is such a long name. It is so inefficient to say. Get back in the pot, hot dog water. Nobody cares about you. One thing's changed. The way his pants bulge out looks kind of like he's wearing a diaper under his pants. Oh my god, Cor, is he the clown baby? <laughs> Everyone's the clown baby. You seem angry, Anna Akadina. Just protective of Mother Russia and all her treasures. Is the villain of the season going to be Russia? The villain is going to be communism. Mystery Incorporated is going to face their biggest foe yet. Communism. This looks like I'm playing like the Mystery Inc. Xbox game right now. This is bad. This is fucking terrible. <laughs> this shit looks like dog shit. I am the Russian house. I could not, Russians cannot afford CGI. Dude, I ship it. I ship Fred and Hot Dog Water. They're a better couple. They are a better couple. They have better chemistry, man. I never should have brought the Baba Yaga exhibit to this terrible country. What if this is the real reason we go to war with Russia one day? Because the guy in Mystery Incorporated said that our country was horrible and he was Russian. So the guy with the big hat, he was like, this country sucks. That become a, it, it's just trending all over the internet. And Joe Biden, he couldn't tell the difference between the cartoon and real life because his cataracts are so <laughs> clogging his vision. He's just so old, he doesn't even have perception of reality at this point. We better call Mr. E. Dude, does he do anything? He's just always playing his guitar. We we stand mystery here. I have to practice for my band. We are a fire 80s throwback. We follow the trail of weird liquid I saw leaking from the house. Okay, it's a trail of black liquid from the house. This is shit, right? Okay, so then where does the house shit from? From its ass. So what are you- what kind of question is that? And I didn't have much choice but to team up with Mr. E. But Velma, you know Mr. E can't be trusted. He has a keytar! He has a keytar. He might be cool and have cool moves. You stay away from Baba Yaga and her house! I'm sorry, what did she say? Baba Yaba da ba da uh. She's fucking spitting facts. Lauren Hill gotta watch out for this girl, bro. She is fucking spitting at them. 
<laughs> oh, we can't stop. We can't stop guessing what happens in the show. We're just that good. Were your knuckles always this big, Daphne? The hot tub's bubbling our names, and I've untethered the dolphins. Oh my God! Taylor Botner, or whatever your name is, relax. Taylor Bobner, he can bop on me any day. He has back abs. Look at his back abs. Is that Daphne's actual hair? Huh? Oh. uh... Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why would he admit that? Why would what? he admit that? Maybe it's just like he's like, it's just not as good if you don't use the real hair, you know? This is the freighter. I think hot dog water is going to be evil. I'm calling it here. It's Daphne. It's not Daphne. What the fuck are you talking? There's no way. Now let's see who Baba Yaga really is. I knew it. It was Daphne. Why would you do that to your friends, Daphne? What the fuck? I was to be a rich capitalist with all of my loot. But you're Russian. You're not allowed to be a capitalist. <laughs> He's just a Russian who w wanted to be American. And that's his greatest flaw, flaw of all. Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. If it wasn't for you decadent bourgeois teenagers and your slobbering democracy-loving dog. Why does the dog specifically love democracy? He can't even vote. Scooby goes to high school. He's got like straight A's. He's allowed to vote. But like, if he started voting, they, they'd be like, the damn Democrats are, they're having dogs voting now. Not some cylindrical pork byproduct sweating in a greasy vat of brine. It <laughs> <laughs> I think Fred Loki hates hot dog water. I'm coming to this realization. I would too. She's stinking up his van, dude. It's like, it smells like hot dogs. No one wants to smell like hot dogs. Oh, she's evil. Look, Mr. E's gonna be in there. Hello, hot dog water. I knew it. Mr. E was in there. I knew it. Bend over. Don't side with Mr. E Incorporated. Their days are numbered. Your days are numbered? Is he gonna eat hot dog water? <laughs> I'm so hungry. It's like he, he sees her and she starts like turning into a hot dog from his <laughs> POV. I was never attentive or romantic enough. Whatever that means. Oh, look at that. Session's over. The second Fred actually opened up about his problems, the fucking session ended, so he kicked them out instantly. He said your healthcare plan doesn't allow me to speak after the buzzer. <laughs> Why did you do this? He stole Fred's therapist. Fred's gonna lose it without his th He needs to see his therapist. He's gonna go crazy. They should have replaced Daphne in the intro with hot dog water, though. Imagine <laughs> yeah, that, that would have been Imagine. awesome. Oh they my god. did! Oh my god, they did! Oh my god. No way! Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> peak cinema, peak cinema, peak cinema, peak cinema. Why is her room so big the ceiling was like a hundred <laughs> feet tall? What the fuck was that shot? Fred? Surprised? What are you doing? Oh my god, Fred kidnapped her. Oh my god. This is psychotic. I moved on. And so should you. But... She, she has to catch an Uber home. He, he took her like five miles away from her house. Doesn't anyone care about mystery solving anymore? I care. Whoa, 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 whoa. Honestly, if they were gay, like, if that if that was a couple, like, I would support it greatly. Like, hot dog water x Valma. Like, they're both, like, nerdy. Like, it works. We got double baddies on screen. Is she gonna be bald? Oh, okay, it still looks good. It looks good. It looks good, though. It looks good. Yeah, but she looks, like, 30 years older now, I feel like. Make me beautiful like a flower. Oh, see, he's just trying to get the help he needs. He stole a therapist, a hairdresser, probably next he'll steal a physical therapist. Like, he's just trying to get, like, someone who can help him out in every facet of his life. He just built Cosby, that beautiful one. I don't like this. Okay, all right. Trans representation in Crystal Cove. Let's get it. Uh. This one really sells the whole quaint, small town, innocent girl. Can he change out of those clown pants? They look so goofy. Clown pants, clown baby. Baylor Botner is the clown baby. Oh, Baylor, you know exactly what a girl wants. 
Fred is just Team Edward, and we're we're just not realizing it. Fuck Team Jacob. I was always Team Jacob, but now that she's he's stealing Daphne away from my Fred. He took him. He took the doctor. See, I'm right. He went for the doctor next. So he's just trying to become a sexy man. He's just an ugly piece of shit. I don't get it. She's emitting the signal. He set the transmitter to feet Daphne's feet mode. He forgot. Oh. He completely forgot it's Daphne's feet tracker. He left it on the last option on accident. <laughs> oh Yo. my what? This is literally Twilight. This is literally Twilight. Why are they taking pictures? <laughs> it's just a random excuse to take off the man's shirt. This is literally Twilight. J.R. Kipple shows up a few minutes after Crybaby Clown disappears. I'm not laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that delivery so good? E editors save that. Anytime we're watching a shitty show, just cut to that clip of, of, of Scooby. I'm not laughing. You know, school chum, you might want to do a little work on that six pack. He's roasting him. My boy is fucking jacked. Shut the fuck up, Baylor. But not jacked as Baylor. And he doesn't have the, like, ass chin. Like, what is- look at his- it looks like he has a tumor. What? Did he die? What happened? Fred is dead. This is out of control. We've got to stop that clown. Oh my god, Fred- Broke his back? He's frozen. Everyone on the Fred animation team had a stroke. Like, why would Crybaby Clown steal a therapist? A hairdresser? Fred is broken. He's dead. They're just bringing around his corpse everywhere. Wait, everyone's kidnapped on the floor and they got bibs? Oh my god, it's all the people he kidnapped. This is a fetish. This is a fetish. This is a fetish. Someone got a lot of mileage out of that. Why does Baylor Botner, he's a famous rich actor. Why did he do this? Rich people and weird fetishes. Like, that's all it comes down to. So he was on the Epstein flight logs. We know that Taylor Lautner was on the Epstein flight logs. <laughs> what? No way. But thank God, like, Shaggy actually played so much Flight Simulator. Like, he grinded that game, like, for hundreds of hours. Bro, you know, if Shaggy and Scooby were on that plane on that day, they would have intervened. That's all I'm saying. Oh, my God. He's like the rock. Holy. He's fucking. Fred is Tom Cruise right now. This is a Mission Impossible movie. And he's doing all his own stunts. Ew, 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 ew. But if that were me though, like I want, I want man baby in my lap, you know? Yeah! Hell. That was That bad. was awesome. Bro, I, need, I need the screen cap of Fred about to punch the camera though. Let's see who Crybaby Clown really is. What? Taylor what? 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 I came here to Crystal Cove to research the part of a crazed clown for my upcoming blockbuster movie, The Night the Clown Cried. Wait, he's method acting? This is literally Jared Leto. No, this is the Heath Ledger shit because he, he literally went crazy while research. I like it. This is kind of like a commentary on playing the Joker. That's funny. Thanks, guys. You, uh really saved me. He was like, I did think it was a little weird where he always wanted to wear the diaper in bed. So are they gonna kill hot dog water now or what's going on? They're gonna put her in the pot again and boil her. Hot dog water is six wheeling so hard right now. Come here, hot dog water. Fred corks his gun. You can tell this is an estranged marriage, bro. She even has those eyeglasses on so she doesn't have to see her disgusting husband's face. That sleep mask on. Shut <laughs> oh my god! What? <laughs> Holy this is some cow. Rich people. This is rich people shit right here. This is the privilege of, of being part of the 1%. You can just break out of this. No! No, not you! Not you! Oh my goodness, it's the lead singer of KISS! It's Gene Simmons. J sh sh it's the freak. David Bowie. David Bowie is way hotter than that. Open them. Surprise. Pancake bolognese. Ew, 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 Bro, he looks like he's, fr he's fucking one of the three stooges right now. I was hoping you would put our friendship before Mystery Incorporated. See you around. It's such an emotional scene. So Velma's going to be gay for hot dog water. I could use a little soul cleansing right about now. Oh, no, 
The lesbian heartbreak. <laughs> no. They didn't even get the scissor. We don't know what they did behind the scenes. Yeah, you can't be making these assumptions like that. Oh my goodness, he is David Bowie. This is literally a scene in Labyrinth. What is Labyrinth? What is that? A movie with David Bowie in it. I thought David Bowie it made music. People can do other things. He has a really big c bulge in Labyrinth. That's the important, that's the only piece of information you need. <laughs> Who's this fat woman? Hello, fat woman. That looks like, what's that dog scary show? <laughs> dog courage, coward dog. Courage the cowardly dog? Muriel? Muriel. Did your dream by any chance involve a labyrinth, spells, a purple orb, and a sexy man with a large bulge? Yes, a large one, in fact, Velma. Was David Bowie gay? Yes, he was. He... So why is he chasing women in his dreams? Like, what's that about? Because he needs to kill them all so there's only men left. Mr. Keisterbaum? His name is Mr. Keisterbaum. Why does she knock like that? Oh my god! Jesus Christ! His keister just got bombed! Do I look like the kind of nerd that plays Crips and Creatures? Isn't that the nerdy fantasy role-playing game that nerdy nerds play? Nerdy nerds. <laughs> <laughs> that nerdy nerds play. Fred, my guy, you are spinning. Fred is the greatest person in this show. It, he really just consistently is the funniest. Norvo, what are you doing in there? Norvo? Drink off, mom! I promise! I'm just looking at poor. <laughs> He's so ashamed. He's so ashamed. And we talk about he played D&D &D by himself. That is the saddest shit I ever heard in my life. What the fuck? What? 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 What has happened? What are we watching? I think it's a, I think it's D&D. &D. I thought we just turned on a different channel for a second. In the lair of the diabolical Dreamweaver, what do you do? I use nightmares. Oh my god, they all used to play D&D. No way. <laughs> Wait, it's the young versions. Why does she- she still looks like an old lady though. She looks old. Why does she look so old? Soda pop. Check. Sugary snacks. Check. They're hanging out with the fucking cop now. I messed with Shaggy and Scooby, but this arc with, with Shaggy's hair being fucked up and them hanging out with a cop, I'm not a big fan. Whoa. This is so cool. Bro, this is awesome. Yo, this is so cool. The nether portal, enter it. That's not the nether portal, bro. That's the aether. Welcome to the aether, you fucking bitches. I'm David Bowie, the creator of the aether mod. Flash of stone. No, no. Wait, now he's just like his Family Guy version. His legs don't work anymore. No. no. Time for some magic of my own. What? What? How? how? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't. You. How, what? How, how, it's how, a dream. It's what? a dream. How? how, 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 how I love. I, I don't like oh. Daffy <laughs> Head <laughs> on <laughs> Sheriff <laughs> Body. I don't like don't it. Don't be vulnerable. Don't be I don't like no, it. No. 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 I'm scared. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. That one's cool. That Scooby shit looks hard as fuck. He looks like a Roblox character. The head does not match the body. I'm the Dreamweaver. Busted. What? Huh? How did they solve? Does, does he have a samurai helmet? In all the dreams, the Dreamweaver held his orb in his left hand. But when we looked at everybody else... This is like the first episode that actually makes sense. What are you talking about? What? This is the first episode that makes sense. This does make sense. They found out that he was left-handed and he was the only person who held... Yeah, but they used like a crystal fucking samurai helmet to get inside their dreams. What do you mean that makes sense? He cast your broken, lifeless, elven body into the eternal abyss. No! So he's he's been salty for like a decade because they killed his character in D and D. He has a hot ass wife. He has like a he owns a bank and he's still fed up over this goddamn D and D feud. Who cleaned? We did. Fred, is that Brad Childs? <laughs> the chin, the chin, the chin, the chin. Stop. Look at this that real. chin. I mean, it's genetic. Where do you think Fred got his chin from? That plot twist. What? <laughs> I don't even know what to say at this show anymore. My very own 
traveling cabinet of curiosities. You guys think we'll get to see Pinocchio for the 50th time on our channel here? Please don't. Sh I don't want to see any more Pinocchio. I've seen. I've had enough Pinocchio for a lifetime, man. He better not be gay. Imagine they find straight Pinocchio in here. They locked him up for like the past 20 years because of the woke politics. He's just swiping on Tinder on his eye on Pinocchio's iPhone. Like he's just fucking horny as hell. He's like, my wood long as hell, bro. I'm stroking my shit. I'm trying to fuck, dude. That's what Pinocchio sounds like now. The whole dang of horror! That's just a dead animal. What animal is that, though? It looks kind of dog-like. That's the Chupacabra Mini. <laughs> Chupacabra Mini. Oh my god, is that Daphne or Daphne's mom? That's one of Daphne's sisters. She's quintuplets. Sorry, they all look the same. Bro, she bad. She kind of got that skeleton in her room. Bro, anyone with a skeleton in their room is kind of bad, bro. For real. Bro, that's me in the background. I'm the skeleton, dude. If I was in the same room as her, I'd be boned up. You know what I'm saying? What? What? Where's hot dog water? Bring her back. Put her back in the intro. She finally drowned in the hot dog water. It's a matter of time. I'm fucking pissed. Why didn't you come back for me? To protect you, Fred. Shut your bitch ass up. You ran away from responsibility to protect you. Judy and I do a little something with traps ourselves. We dabble. The traps are genetic. The traps are genetic. That's so beautiful. Nova. Scooby's girl. Scooby's got a GF. That's weird. This is That's weird. weird. This is They're not as weird. They can't talk. They're of a lower intellect than you. Scooby has an equal intellect to that of a human. So him trying to like do moves on a dog is just weird. What did it steal, Daisy? Two items. An expensive ruby necklace that was given to me by my wealthy neurosurgeon fiance. <laughs> Fucking bitch. She deserved it. And I feel no empathy. I certainly can, Thelma. Thelma. Don't care. What a bitch. I don't care when anyone says I need her. I can fix her. Bro, she's married to a neurosurgeon. He can fix her. Um, 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 yeah, yeah. That's Doug. That was Doug. Doug from Doug? It's cut the cheese with his feet, bro. Like, I don't care who the fuck it is, man. Why does it sound like a horse? <laughs> it does sound like a horse. Why is it so fast? Why is it so insane? Oh my god. Holy shit, wombo combo. Bro, when they add in this guy to multiverses. That noise is disgusting. That sounds horrible. Horrifying. I bet it's the <laughs> little dog. No fucking way. It's the little dog. That would be fucking sick as hell. It's gonna be the little. It's 100% gonna be the little dog. But Scooby's still gonna be into her because she's a she's a bad girl. She's a baddie. <gasps> Roberto, what am I not seeing when I look at that empty platter? The foot. It's the foot guy. It's the foot guy. He's evil. The foot guy because he was climbing on the walls because he, he's so angular with his feet. He has great grip, so he's climbing on. He's a rock climber. Oh my god, it's the foot guy. Oh my goodness. If you got a foot job from him, you would come instantly. Lady in the trip. Lady in the trip. This is inappropriate. You can't do that. Yeah, you can do it. Oh my god. This is weird. This is this is like if you put the peanut butter on your balls, bro. But it's Shaggy Scooby's just a dog. <laughs> oh my god. He's killing people. Bro, they're like rolling like they're ragdolling. Holy shit! That's terrifying! Holy shit! The other dog is freaking out. No, it's gonna die! <laughs> Scooby's gonna sacrifice himself! <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that big. Like, it's like, like, is this that threatening in the grand screen? This is above average size, okay? Don't say that this isn't that big. This is purpose. Like, size doesn't even matter in the first place, but this is. Okay, maybe for you. Maybe for you it's above average. Size does matter. When you're a chupacabra, it does. They're pretty insecure about their size, man. He was stealing this wheel of old cheese. It's the foot guy. It's because the cheese. The cheese. I knew it. Dog from the cartoon Doug. What? A oh monkey. my god, it was a monkey. A monkey. <laughs> what? A monkey. What? I trained Roberto using bells and used him to build up my fortune. He trained his monkey Roberto using bells to steal diamonds. He's like a fat European Aladdin. It drove me insane. All of those bells. 
The bells drove him insane. Wait, so why is he holding the dog over the ledge? What does that have to do with that? Why are you going to kill this dog? Like, what's going on? Because it has a bell on it. <laughs> why are they locking up the monkey? Dude, Sh Sheriff Bronson can do whatever the fuck he wants, okay? If you want to lock up a monkey, let him lock up a monkey. What? One of the puzzle pieces went inside of the cheese? Why does the, what does the cheese have to do with anything? The cheese is part of the plot? I'm so fucking confused. Oh, it's Angel. Oh, she's a baddie. Oh, this, they're evil. Wow, what a surprise. Mr. E. Did you, wow, did you guys know Fred's parents were part of the original Mr. Inc? It's so crazy. The new mystery incorporated have obtained the third and now the fourth piece of the planet spheric disc. I have no idea what he just said, to be honest with you. They got the they got the third and fourth piece of the disc. Oh, okay, okay. I can't understand. His accent is thick as hell. So they're all working together again? I don't know, bro. Previously, on Mystery Incorporated. Wait, why is Shaggy doing the recap? Looks like they're all doing it this time. Flipping the liquor man's chair. Oh, the pizza panning is fire, though. This is the most pretentious thing I've ever heard in my life. This is pretty realistic. Genius. I think. Observe the delicate line. He took the mayor on a date. He's youth. trying to date the new mayor. That's so weird. The most modern, modern. Oh my god, look at this guy. Why does he look like that? His hair is bigger <laughs> than his entire face. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. That is not what just happened. It isn't supposed to do that. It isn't supposed to do that. It's a transformer. What this is fuck? crazy. Holy oh no, shit. The babe, the babe, no. Cut her head off. <laughs> it ate her. It ate her. He was hungry, man. So I went to Iran and I studied forbidden magnetism. Iran. <laughs> wow, Dad. <laughs> Would you like me to turn on the AC? <laughs> Subtle, good save, nice save, nice save, my boy. So alien, so beautiful. He's like insulting her right now, though. Well, he's a groomer. You're a groomer. He's assaulting Velma. We need to kill this guy. I don't even care if he's evil. Let's just kill him. Like I don't know. Like I don't. Really... He's probably not evil, but he's disgusting. He's... I just I hate, so despise him. I despise him. Why is he stripping all these teenagers right now? You'll be a worker in Randy Warsaw's artworks. <laughs> And what about He's so happy! <laughs> he was so happy! He sounds like Pops from regular show. Be gone. He's not into Daphne. He's not into Daphne at all. I should take off my glasses more often. I look hot blurry. <laughs> oh my god, Fred. Oh my god. God, I am literally tr Look at him. The month I spent trapped inside a mannequin factory. The month what is this I spent lore? trapped what is this inside lore a mannequin serious factory. Trauma. I'm begging you to think of Freddy. To really put him first. For once. You think the parents that abandoned him for like 18 years are gonna put him first? You really <laughs> think that's gonna happen? Oh my god, he's suspicious. Hmm. 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 I'm probably out springing an awesome trap at the moment. Trap you later. Freddy. Trap, trap you, later. you later. He does not say that as a ringtone. I'm the forger. The forger? I make all the art, but he gets all the credit. Oh, I thought he was like stealing money from the guy. I make a copy. And sell it myself. It, it, it's junk. Well, that's a bit unfair. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's bizarre. It's junk. Oh, that that's was so a really funny. good one. That was a. No! 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 He was funny. Let him live. He was funny. No! That's what happens when you're funny. Why did they bring the cow? Why did they bring the cow? Did they forget Velma and bring the cow instead? Is that, that like an insult that they gave that to would Velma? That so fucked up. Destroy a masterpiece? Never. Dude, this guy looks like Tyler Oakley, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they now, Tyler Oakley, bro? He's a Scooby-Doo villain. Sheriff Stone. <laughs> comrade. Co Sheriff Comrade. It's just like the picture. Not really. It's not just like it. It's just like it. It's my all-time favorite polka band, the Kaiser Wursts. Shaggy is developing these interests in the show, and it is getting absurd. And all the 
<laughs> Stop. Bro, Stop. Scooby, Scooby please. Scooby has pipes, man. Scooby's oh gonna start God. a grunge rock band, and it's gonna be sick as hell. Oh my god, the TV is back, and now he's ready to consume- Run, it's mediocre CGI! Run! Consume me, you metal beast of my own- I don't- stop moaning. <laughs> he's way, way weird. too you're aroused. Weird, this dude, fucking you're dude. You're weird, this, little bro. He's such a freak, man. Is this, it, is this not... what porn artists are like when they jerk off to their own piece? The strange paralysis of Eco, Cleo, and worker number one had been caused by a rare strand of brewer's yeast. Used only in Bavaria. They were frozen by a rare strand of yeast from Bavaria. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude, Stop. Like, over. And his expert knowledge of musical instruments, Butch was able to control your junk sculpture and make it attack you. He's controlling it with magnetics and instruments. My God, what? What the fuck is this explanation? <laughs> they got Bolivian fucking yeast to freeze them, <laughs> and then musical instruments control the robot. Bavarian Oompa band until I came to work for you, Randy Warsaw. Then why did you work for him? Molded me into a, a dark band leader playing what? and singing. This is no, what? he has to consume them and turn them just into quit. yeast. This is literally unbelievably stupid. I this is this is one of the dumbest ones. This is top five. I think this is the dumbest explanation in the entire show. You've saved modern art from the clutches of the bourgeoisie. You're still a fucking freaky ass groomer. You should be arrested too. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Listen up, boppers. Because hmm? I got a brand new radio show coming at you. <gasps> hmm. Sexy lady. Maybe, just maybe. Why are they all listening to our station, though? It's Everybody's probably like the only good <laughs> station. Like, you know, <laughs> it's Crystal Cold. All the man. other ones just play like, shitty country music nonstop. They all play Ed Sheeran on all the other ones. <gasps> oh, it's just their montage of them. Eat. I like this. This one. is the this is the only important part to Scooby. The mukbang montage. Is this the episode where Scooby and Shaggy find out they both have diabetes? Can dogs actually get diabetes? Vsauce, Michael here. Can dogs get diabetes? I'm gonna feed a dog a cupcake every single day. Where's Waldo? Waldo was there at the bottom of the screen. Waldo was there. I found he him. Found he, he, found, he found his ass. We've been searching for fucking years, and I think Waldo is evil in this episode. I'm going to make a suggestion. Well, why do you think they're always trying to find him? He's a fucking serial killer. Dina, come into the fog. Yo, it's Ryuk Death Note. No he way. He does actually look like him. Let me get your autograph, bro. It's the graveyard ghoul. <laughs> Don't be silly, Velma. That's even That's just a homeless person. We're gonna beat him up now. He's helped me bury a few things more than once over the years. What? What? Oh, classic what? mystery incorporated moment. Valo is the graveyard ghoul. Shut the fuck up. Velma, it's never that obvious in Scooby-Doo. But now that you said that, he actually is gonna be evil the whole time. Guys, guys, you see that? He's is this whole episode gonna be Velma pointing out the villain and they are just like- Velma gaslight him? episode. Yes, come here. Come in. German people, blonde hair, blue eyes. I am Miss Aryan, and this is my Aryan <laughs> household. Nice, polite talking dog. My girls will just love you. Girls? Oh my, my white, god! My white daughters. <laughs> my white daughters. It, it writes itself. That. It writes. Do we even need to say anything? I can see that this is going nowhere. I'm gonna take off and do some. Isn't Velma supposed to be gay in the show? Wouldn't she be all over these these guten this tog? Clearly, is not her type. I mean, just be honest, dude. You think she would be into any of them? Who? It wouldn't be. Hello. Um, me. Um, me, bro. Stop lying to the audience, bro. Dude, I didn't know you like dog woman. Okay. I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know you like dog. Who are obsessed with dogs. Going. That shit looks like when Mercy revives you in Overwatch. Here I am again, the only one really working. You always <laughs> <laughs> Bro, how are you even hiding behind the tree with your absolute obtuse ass? My sweet Ricky. My sweet Ricky. Wait, Wait did they share intimate moments? I think they have like an intimate past together. You leave those beautiful immigrants alone. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did he call them <laughs> immigrants? The you are heroes, and to commemorate your deeds, we made these chocolate statues in your. <gasps> what? The bitch made cho. Where's Velma though? We didn't like the glasses one. The glasses one was kind of ugly, in my opinion. Oh my god, she's going crazy! What the fuck? 
this is like a romance scene. Why is this so, this so is romantic? So romantic. Yeah. This is like the fucking montage at the beginning of Up. But twice as sad, bro. Fuck <laughs> Chocolate, chocolate! Oh my god, she's oh. the chocolate guy from Spongebob. Chocolate! Chocolate! He got shut down on a work permit for being registered as pure evil. Vilma, it's never the obvious suspect. <laughs> I, I love my goodness. that. I love that this is just- Bro, it's, it's gonna be the obvious subsect this time, though. Maybe it's the MILF. I think it might Velma's be Velma's usually right, you know? It's all mine. You can't have it. Go away. Mine! Oh my god. Daphne is fucking insane. Is this like the old kind of chocolate that they put like cocaine in? Oh, the good chocolate, yeah. Before the fucking liberals got to it and started taking my fucking crackers. What's a man got to do to get some crack in this society? Not that hard, bro. Suck a couple dicks. Thumbnail? Put the dicks in the thumbnail. No, no <laughs> dicks in the thumbnail. Don't say that. <laughs> Susan said dicks are allowed now in the new press release. Yeah, this kind of Val von Mean Screen guy definitely sounds guilty. Which is why I won't be arresting him. That's a good cop. Every time I think it's the guy and I arrest him, it always ends up being the wrong guy. He has so many lawsuits pending, he's not gonna do anything. Hmm, there's that same smell. It's gas. The meatballs. You know how they're making the meatballs? It's the dead corpses of all the people in the cemetery. <laughs> the, meatballs. the meatballs. The meatballs are people. Oh, look at the little German. Oh, oh, the the little little he, he looks like PewDiePie, bro. That's like early what PewDiePie. Fucking... That's what Shaggy looks like right now. Still bad. Still bad? Bad at controlling your appetite. Dude, how strong is Scooby? That thing looks like it's at least 300 pounds and he's just running with it like no problem. <laughs> Holy oh shit, God. that's gas, oh my God, baby. It's explode. That's it's gas, Dude, baby. this is not good. This is a dangerous That's predicament. That's gasoline, baby. Oh my God. We heard explosions. Are you okay? We heard explode. You can't see everything around you. <laughs> oh my God. The fucking obvious villain is finally the villain. That's awesome. You with this check for 30 years worth of back gas profit. Yo, what? That's crazy. Now we can leave this country. Goodbye forever. Now, now we can, we leave, can this leave this country. <laughs> they are going back to Germany. Now we can go back to the old country and live like- The second they can afford to escape, Yo! they're like, we're out. That's that is awesome. Hilarious. I am so never arresting anyone. <laughs> he took a breath <laughs> of every word. That delivery was perfect, man. How many takes did he take? Let them take their gazillion dollars and leave. And their chocolate. Let them take all their chocolate. Wait. <laughs> I like this Daphne characterization. Mountain climbing rules, brah. I'm getting an unbelievable calf workout. Who the fuck is this guy? Why is there so much lederhosen in this show? Who are these motherfuckers? No, these guys have been in the entire show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the baddie's attacking them, though. Oh, my. Whoa. Animation, what the fuck? Not the soccer ball. Oh, she's the soccer ball villain. Dude, she's balling. If I was in this situation, I would like pretend to fall and just be like, oh no, oh god, I hope she doesn't attack me. Oh god, I hope she doesn't sit on my face. I hope she doesn't grab my balls. Captain Fumblethumb's McMountain Dork lost the team's lucky soccer ball. It wasn't my fault! They still care more about the fucking ball than they care about the insane sexy vampire with wings that attack them. My feelings are completely intact. They're blushing. They're into each other. They are. They're. They're gay. 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 That's why they didn't care about the sexy vampire woman. Yeah, none of them are phased because they got. They got the hate fuck going on. Well, out of there, folks. What? Where did that nose come from? You know what you do with your dick? She's doing that with her nose. Oh my God! Leave. 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 Can we talk about how disgusting okay. these? Oh my God! What the baddie with the bucket though? Who is the baddie with the bucket? How much you want to bet the baddie with the bucket is going to be the evil one this episode? Because she's a baddie and the vampire was a baddie too. Think about it. It makes sense. Hubba, hubba. She literally said hubba hubba. Oh my god. I feel like Daphne has gotten like stupider over the course of this show progressing. Um, stupider literally isn't a word. I think you mean the more stupid. Like, I think that you're the one who actually ended up stupider. This is a lovely tire fire. Lemon tire roasted lizard on a stick. That is literally you are eating cancer. That is tire fumes being burned <laughs> and smoking that food. There is no way in which that is possibly like good for you. That's why they all look so like degraded. They just all have cancer. I'm gonna get me some more meat. Dark Lilith! 
What if it's the evil lady? Cause she like left, and then now the dark Lilith is here, like the old lady. Seek not this mountain, for if you do. Nah, she a baddie for real, for real. On God, on God, and do it. That's the same voice. That's literally the same voice. What's what the old lady? Uh, yeah. You think the old lady is this, is this sexy girl? I mean, yes. it would make sense. She literally just went off screen right now. I'll guide you up Mount Diablo. Okay, who's this voice actor? He sounds so familiar. Johnny Bravo. Oh, it's oh, Johnny, he's Johnny Bravo. Bravo. It is Johnny Bravo. Um, he kind of looks like him too. Daffy has a crush on Johnny Bravo. I did not expect that to happen. Who am I? That's a good question. I. I I call myself Boron, yeah, because I'm a, uh... Oh my god, she's... I'm she's poisoned from being in the mines too long. She's... Evil! She's so bad, though. Like, I need her to bench press me, you know what I'm saying? Like, that would be awesome. Jimmy, no! You are my friends! Whoa! Oh Jim, my god, Johnny, no. he's dead. Jim, Jim died. He's dead. Oh my god, he's Jim. dead. Bro, he's, he's dead. dead. <laughs> Bro, he's dead. You're not surviving that. Jim. Did you see how far he fell? I don't want to know what bullshit excuse they try to use to like, Oh, Jim's fine. Like, no. They got to collect the Dragon Balls to, to bring him back from the dead, bro. That will be a cool episode. I don't think ugly Jimmy's bravery should go to waste. Yeah, they're talking about him like he's dead. They didn't even check. They don't even care that he's dead. They're just like, well, pour one out for the for the man. Is that an old Spanish galleon? Oh, <gasps> the conquistadors. That's the Spanish conquistadors. The writing's in Espanol, but I aced on her Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> the writing's in Espanol. She loves the white. Shit I've ever heard in my life. And after several months of searching, find it. I like how they don't animate the indigenous people that they were totally killing and raping in all these scenes. Like, yeah, let's just pretend that part didn't happen. We had discovered a terrible evil driving us to commit horrible acts. Oh, wait, no, they did animate it. Oh my god, they did animate it. Scooby Doo knows the past, bro. My favorite scene of Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated was when they genocided the indigenous people. I used the alchemical disc, the Planisferico, to map our location and we buried the evil treasure deep, deep underground. This is the lore of the treasure right now. Yeah, this is literally the lore of the entire show, basically, that is being explained. Many thanks for all of your time. Stop her. Stop her. That literally has the power to, like, end the world. Do well, Scooby tripped Scooby, Scooby is Scooby the only one. Yo, Velma with the tackle. Velma put the dump truck on her. Oh, no, you don't. Indiana Velma in this bitch? Bro, Velma's going hard in this episode. Velma is like the second strongest one. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> what? She's not pulling the boat. She is not pull. What? What the fuck is going on? Look at She's driving the entire boat. This is so cool. Like, the way they're destroying the boat, like, they cut it in half with the sign. That's awesome. This literally has better animation than One Piece fucking boat fights. Except for Wano. Except for Wano, obviously. There's that smell again. Hot dog water. <gasps> hot dog water is her! She's... Oh my god. She's hot dog water! Hello. <laughs> I would have never guessed that in a million years. That's genius. Here. Friendship should always come first. And gay. They're gay. I ship them. They are definitely gay. And I do- I also ship it. She recognized the villain by their smell. That's how- how intimately familiar she is with the smell of hot dog water. Well, Court, she smells like hot dog water. There's only one bitch in the fucking planet who smells like hot dog water, okay? I- I think I'm gonna hork. This is really insensitive. Why? He's ugly as fuck, dude. This is sad. Like, he, like, literally permanently disfigured himself to help the gang out, and they're like, okay, bye. Nibiru. What? 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 You were just, well, you were in the what? boat for 400 years. Oh, he's a ghost. He's a ghost. Is that racist? I don't know what that word means. Go to your Duolingo and see if it's given your next lesson. The Nibiru Cataclysm is a supposed disastrous encounter between Earth and a large <laughs> planetary object. So I guess it's just a word that, like, says that, like, the end times are coming soon or something, basically. Dylan? 
We've been through so much together. Cold is this opening. that same couple? This couple has been like <gasps> the, the victim of so many monster attacks. Should we be together? Oh, Dylan, I'm scared. Should we be? They're questioning it. Should we be together? Because they keep getting attacked. Bro, the background characters are getting their own arcs. This is awesome. Wait. Oh my god, he's gonna get the babe? Yo, the fat guy gets the girl, dude. Awesome. The goat. You saved me. This guy is such a chat. Literally, Mr. Steal Your Girl in two to three days <laughs> shipping, bro. What the hell? <laughs> Mr. Steal Your Girl. By Hebediah Grimm. Hebediah Grimm. Hebediah Grimm is one of the worst villains. He didn't even attack anyone. He just destroyed that white girl's car. Like, her daddy's just gonna buy her a new one. Like, it's not that big of an issue. I was jogging by with my soccer ball, so I took him out. Was he really jogging by or was he stalking them waiting for his chance? It seems a little too good to be true. What if the villain is his friend, the red-haired guy? It's a ginger guy. That would oh be insane. God. This is all a setup so he can hook up with the girl. No way. If that's true, I'm going to lose it. All thanks to the royalties from our trap patents. Right you are, Judy. So traps are just really popular in this world, like culturally. I think that's where we should head as a society. Like, think about it. Like, traps are popular in anime. Trap is popular in music. Why, why don't we have the third type of trap being popular? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. What about the music and the candles? Is that standard stakeout protocol? Bro. What? He's cheating on the ma on the old mayor? I'm not, I'm not into this. You've got a lot to learn about stakeouts, lady. Well, maybe you should teach me then. Wait, I guess she's the new mayor, right? He, he's not attracted to any specific, specific gender. He's just attracted to anyone that is a mayor. He just want, he's a corrupt cop that will sleep with anyone in power. With all that noise! Quiet, long hair! <laughs> <laughs> Where did Quiet. he come from? Dude, that's a spawn point, Core. He just spawned there for today. Oh, yeah. Oh, he comes in conveniently. Oh, and to save another babe. Okay. Oh, my God. Were we literally right? Yeah, it's the ginger guy. Well, it's, it's kind of like context clues, bro. There's only a, like a certain amount of people it could be. You know, we're three dudes. We're three pretty smart guys. We're three sexy men who know how to pay attention to Scooby-Doo episodes. There are some odd indentations in Hebediah Grimm's footprints. Those are soccer cleats. Yeah, soccer cleats. It's the ginger kid. Oh my god. That'll be that'll be cool if they do it. This is the red herring because they usually get it wrong. Oh oh, shaggy. Why are they? Why did they? They didn't have to do that. Like they could have just been in the stands. They didn't have to dress up as the cheerleaders. None of this had to happen, but it is pretty funny. So maybe he's about to slip up now that he's home alone. Shh. This is like kind of immoral, though. They've just been stalking him the whole day. What it? What is he do? What? What? He wants to be like a. A weird ass like musician, Death Grips, maybe. Oh, he he can't afford a real drum set. This is just depressing. I think we found our evidence. Huh? Evidence of what? Why was his pose so fruity? Did you see that? But first, look out! What? He wouldn't even be able to see them from there with the cameras not facing there. Don't think about it too long, Core. You shall all be judged for your wicked transgressions. Except you. You may go. What? Wait, is it hot dog water again? Is it hot dog water again? Oh my god, is it hot dog water again? It can't be hot dog water again. He's already poor as hell. Like, you're destroying his house. Who's paying for these repairs? This is actually sad. His parents... This is genuinely sad. His parents both work like two, two jobs. They have two dead-end jobs. Looks like he's not judging you tonight, Daphne. Oh, she gonna fall for him now? Oh my god, bro. Thank you so much, Ethan. Is it allowed for two people, two gingers to date each other though? I think the space time continuum might collapse to be honest. Dougal's costume from the scorning is missing. So is the backup. Oh, there's two of them? Hmm. It's both of the friends, maybe. Wow. I'll never reach this level of trapsmanship. Trapsmanship. Can we get a compilation every time the word trap is said in the show? That will be a long video. You shall be judged!
Don't judge me because I'm beautiful. What? Bro. That's like a Bugs Bunny scene right there. It kind of worked for me, though. It kind of worked for me. Well, I mean, female Bugs Bunny is also hot as fuck, so. No, but I can. Oh, my goodness. It's both the incels. It's both the incels. What? It's both of them. He's really. Gary and Ethan. Gary both and Ethan. Both of them. Oh, my God. They're geniuses, bro. But I really want to. It should have been two hot dog waters. Why did you guys do it? Girls. Duh. Because we wanted to get laid. <laughs> They're so obvious. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What were they doing in the bushes? What the fuck? Oh, that was fast. That was fast. I think that's what Mayor Nettles was saying also. Will you want another stakeout? Yes, exactly. Oh my god. They were f***ing in the forest. They were f***ing in the forest. Our son. They're gonna cross them so hard. Like, we already know. These what are some asshole. evil ass fucking parents. That was not ominous at all. This is gonna be the greatest vacation ever. Where have I heard that before? Wait, we've seen this family before. When was the last time we saw them? I don't remember. Probably going on a vacation to a different shitty location. No, I think they went to the crocodile, the crocodile city, remember? This dad really knows how to pick them. Hope you don't mind, we just kind of let ourselves in. Oh my god, they walked into a furry convention! Get out of there, man! They're gonna sh** on your- and call on your pizza, man! Get out of there! Oh my god, hide the dog! They left the dog! They left the dog! They left the fucking dog! Oh my god, Vin Diesel! Never mind. Um, what's a black bald guy? The Rock. Eddie Murphy? Oh my god, Bill Cosby. He's teaming up with the furries. The cook from an unspecified culture, Don Thong. Stay out of the way of Don Thong. An unspecified culture. Why did he scare the other family away, but now he's chill with the mystery gang? Like, what the... The man himself, Oswald P. Burlington. Wait, that's another Mystery Incorporated. Oh, it's been going on for centuries. The mystery- Because history repeats itself. This is some kind of supernatural, like, cosmic entity is causing time to run in a loop or something? What the hell is going on? Mr. Burlington had a fascination with groups of four people. Oh, they're all men in this one, and they have a donkey. That's <laughs> Those are the weird. wise men. Those are the wise men. Yo, bat Jesus. Latina badass cowboy, though? Whoa, Do you see whoa, that? Whoa, what the whoa. hell's going on there? Bro, I would watch that show. I want cowboy mystery fuck this shit excuse us what the fuck is this guy's problem i just wanted a bite of your pizza dog is this the unspecified culture he was talking about he's just he's just trying to yell at them and say if you can't handle the heat stay out of the fucking kitchen the hot and ready is 555 now oh my god it's scooby and shaggy's fault that little caesars raised the pizza 55 cents hello Hello? Hello? There's feet. Oh, What's I up? thought that it was gonna be an anime moment for a second there. I mean, they gave the feet. That's really all, like, anyone needs. I think this oh, might my, actually this be an is... anime moment. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh my god, never what the mind. fuck is, What the fuck? Never This is very anime-inspired. Missed us. Me too. Whoa! 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 Whoa. Fred's getting action though. All sniffed out underneath. Here too, Scoop. It's not even him. It's not even him. It's not him. He's work he's working on the It's a demon. Daphne's making out with a demon. Fred is getting cucked by himself. That's probably someone's fetish. So beautiful. Oh, Freddy. Oh my god. What? The no fuck is happening? Way. It what? was Shaggy. That is disgusting. I am disgusted right now. I didn't need to see that. Shaggy, don't you have a dog to kiss? That was the most horrifying thing in this entire episode. Okay, but why does this <sighs> this one character specifically goes after dogs? Like, I'm starting to get like weird vibes from him. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe the unspecified like nation that the the dude is from is like furry con <laughs> it's a nation it's a culture to its own 
Oh my god, and the portal, the Polar Express. What the hell is happening this episode? I am tripping balls right now. So is this like a real curse? Is this like the introduction of supernatural elements in this? What the hell is this? Oh, it's actually... Fred just had a heart attack. I thought Shaggy was you, Fred. Yeah, and I thought I was you too. Like, it was so cool having muscles. What? What the hell? What? That is not how I interpreted that situation at all. You guys would not believe the crazy dream I had. Me too. Yuck. <laughs> They're just not going to tell them. They're just not going to tell them for the rest of the show. That's so funny. Gang, this isn't normal wood. It's drug wood. It's called terror wood, a special tree that produces terror-inducing daydreams. It's literally, it has hallucinogenics inside the wood. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? I think I know just how to smoke out the right one. Oh, they're gonna have a smoke off. It's like, like he's gonna challenge him. Like whoever can smoke the most weed. How did they know which piece of wood he would grab there? Maybe they put a lever on every single piece of wood. Where why do you need a watermelon for the trap to work? This is Shut up, it's awesome. Let's see who's really behind all this terror wood smoke. Damn. Don Cheadle. Wow, Don Cheadle. My family has been caretakers of the Burlington Mansion and then the Burlington Library for generations. Let's not go into the connotations of what that was like prior to 1850. Let's just ignore that. Holy shit, man. Oh god. Oh god. But the library could never be closed. I never got a vacation. Not one. I support Don Flunk. I'm gonna keep it real. This is the best villain so far. <laughs> Someone make this guy a barbecue bacon burger, dude. He deserves it. He deserves some heat, man. My boy... God damn, I feel bad. I'm fluent in all unspecified languages, and I understood. And... We fell in love. We fell in love? What? What? This is by far one of the weirdest episodes of the show so far. I love you too, honey. Whoa, what whoa. The hell? Hello? What is this? What that the is hell? So fucked. What the fuck is happening? This is unnerving. Wait a second. Bartomeo Magnus created the planospheric disc. That's the thing with the pizza. Little Caesars. Hot and ready. Maybe they have to put the planisphere disc in the oven to make it hot and ready. No, they have to put it in the air fryer. They have to put it in the air fryer. It tastes better that way. The Daryl family, a.k.a. the Mystery Fellowship. The nerd emoji family. Oh my god. I dude, she looks so much hotter with the afro. Can we talk about that? Personally, as a as a man, like I, I think I should have a say over her body. Over this fictional woman's body, yeah. Isn't Cassidy like the new version for, of McCree from Overwatch? She gets something even worse than dying. She ends up in Overwatch. Do you know why they changed the name from McCree to Cassidy Core? Because they stole Cassidy Williams' breast milk. That guy looks like, what's that game, Wolfenstein? So you're saying he looks like a Nazi, huh? Just because he's white? What are you talking- what? what? How do you know he's white? Why are you defending white people? This is so out of character. Do you know what caused the explosion? Faulty wiring. Works for me. Oh my god. <laughs> Works for me. Case closed. Van Gogh movie at my house. Oh. Everyone who runs the city is so incredibly irresponsible. I hate it. Uh, it's so. And then awful. the actual <laughs> <investigators> <laughs> they show up show instantly up. after. The That's hilarious. Investigators. Whoa! Whoa! What? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Cassidy's so badass. Sorry, we're late. Tug couldn't fit into his wetsuit. It's not me. It's the suit. So, who are these goofy ass kids? Hello? It's Tom and Tub because Tub is tubby and fat. And Tom is Tommy in it. I feel like these are, they're like from the wrong show or something. Why, who are these people? Do you think they're in a relationship with each other? With the seal? Sure. The heart wants what the heart wants. Stop meddling in teenage love fantasies. You're like 30. That's another death flag for Cassidy though. She's giving like advice before she passes away, question mark. Hey, where'd everything go? Oh, it's still out there. I really want the kids to die though. I, I think I would cry tears of joy. Wait, is that? I think that's the lost town of missionaries that disappeared about- This is where missionary position went. Yeah, Valma, this is where they invented that position that we love. The Nazis are gonna destroy the Dude, submarine. Dude, why do the Nazis have such good teamwork, bro? Because the Robies. The Robies. Oh, is that a slur for robots? Are you serious? A Roby? I, I thought we were trying to be progressive on yeah, this I channel, Jack. Yeah, progressive towards human beings, not fucking Robies, man. Stop and finish! 
oxygen. We need a place to lie low and make repairs. Make repairs? Where the fuck are you? We your life. Oh, this is Ava Braun. This is Hitler's wife came back from the dead. <laughs> and she's an evil shrunken Why do head. you know Hitler's wife's name just off the top Why of Why wouldn't dome? you? Why wouldn't you? That's one of the only things I know in this world. Dude, all I'm saying is that Hitler was like 30 and she was like 16. That's kind of a problematic age gap. I think. Yeah, that was the worst Hitler. thing he did. Yeah, that was the worst. Yeah, that's the <laughs> thing he did. According to Twitter, for. probably. If they're building them that fast, then it's like, what do you It's even over, do, man. Bro? It's literally over. <gasps> Baby robots? What the fuck what is the going fuck? on here? Okay, uh, now robots. I'm a little confused. Now you're confused. This is what made you confused. Not why there is Nazi robots in the middle of Crystal Cove. I bet the head Zeppelin that's been shadowing us is behind- The head Zeppelin. That's a nice word for Fuhrer. This has all happened before. Exactly. <gasps> oh, of course. Okay. How that tracks. We, that why, how didn't we guess this? I met Frau Gluck in Bavaria in the 1930s. In the 1930s? Wait, he was around during... No he yes. probably... Oh my God. This bird was a Nazi. Now that I have everything I need, I can dispose of this. Dude, place. this bird is Hitler. What the fuck? This bird is Hitler. And that's how Hitler escaped to Argentina. He's still alive to this day. Go. I'll be fine. Go. Guys, Cassidy's about to die. Cassidy's going to kill herself. No. What E and I had, we lost a long time ago. Don't make the same mistake I did. No! no! Cassidy! No! She no! died fighting Nazis. Could you do anything cooler? She really was an angel dynamite. He's holding something. Cassidy's dead bot. Oh. The confession is right here in black and white. Oh, she said black and white, and then she cut to Cassidy. So a black person died in the last episode. A white person is going to die in this episode. Mr. E's going to have a heart attack from eating too many fucking Twinkies. That fat That's fuck. why Cassidy was really sad. She was, like, really into Mr. E, and then he got fat as fuck. She was like, oh, shit. Oh, my. He's cheeks. Whoa, he is butt cheeks. Why were the butt cheeks? <laughs> they were why? rather defined. Destroido declared corporate sovereignty, so the only legal authority they follow is their own sovereignty what they can do that this is how like disney owns a part of florida or some shit cassidy won't be an impediment anymore Ugh. literally they killed his ex killed her like you guys are kind of like rude for that low-key not gonna cap remember when we used to stare at the moon until our corneas were burned what <laughs> what <laughs> what a romantic date fred oh my god probably Lithium is very toxic, which explains the destruction. How did they do corporate sovereignty? They are damaging the earth in irreparable ways. This is the most accurate part of the show so far. <laughs> the av Avocados is back. Forcing me to work my fingers to the bone so that I can keep myself in the wealthy manner to which I have become accustomed. The most rich motherfucker. I have to work hard to keep my wealth. Ugh. Destroido won't even allow me onto their property without a Destroido passport, which only they can issue. That is insane. This is, this is like the mining companies that like own the property and everything on it. They ha literally had like their own currency that you had to use. Someone must have dropped this. Looks like we have an all-access pass to the destroyed. Wow, how, how convenient. 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 Wow. There, that does not look suspicious in the slightest. Like, if I saw that van pull up in front of my house, I certainly wouldn't be concerned at all. I think this is Velma's house. Dude, everyone be breaking into Velma's house. Why do all these adults want to go in this teenage girl's room? It's so creepy. For emergency forensic work. Besides, what? Um, okay. What? Um, what? They have um, invisibility huh? suits. Dude, this is literally SCP containment breach. Oh my god, the human hands. That is fucking terrifying. This is the sequel to Cocaine Bear. It's Bath Salts Bear, where it like rips the faces of everyone. I'm still waiting them for them to like adapt the fentanyl bear manga. They haven't. Gone it's to a that whole one franchise. Yet. They gave different bears every single drug. Well, hello. Well, hello. I would just roast the shit out of this guy if I saw him in real life. I'd be like, lose some weight, shave the beard. It ain't doing anyone no business. You look like your mom dresses you. I just showed you that DVD of my- <laughs> No, I don't think you did. Yeah, I only watch VHS. This isn't over. 
Bro lost to a DVD player. <laughs> And the files were encrypted, so we don't- Why is Shaggy so sad in this scene? He's like, damn, I barely got any lines this episode. I'm sad. JonTron versus Joe Swanson. That is the final showdown of this show. JonTron versus Joe Swanson. Begin! John, you just review video games. <laughs> Fred sharing his element with those traps. I wish he'd be in his element with me. Whoa, Shut the was, fuck up. That what was the wild. hell was that? That was just that was <laughs> Whoa, just blatant. That was, like hello. That was like a spilling the milk like flirty thing. Like what the hell is that? Avocados. Fred, avocados is here. Avocados. They always avocados. say his name wrong. Like that's kind of offensive if you think about that's it. That's like, why he's gonna kill them. That's his reason. He's like, all oh, this time, no one ever says my name correctly. Sure. Oh my god, they're looking banging. This is a couple. I, should, I love them together. Let's run, shall we? Or we could find George Avocado. Honestly, she's good for him. Like, yeah, she's she trying is. to push him to be better. Enough of your word games, trickster. This is racial profiling. No, I'm, I'm yeah. Keep okay, maybe she isn't pushing to be that much better. Bear bear suit on under his tongue. Oh, he just stripped. This is uh, illegal. What the He's hell? Just yeah, I don't feel comfortable with He's this. got a sexy body, though. He's I'm sexy. Not even gonna Why lie. did he go avocados. straight to stripping him? Like, I want to see the seed in his avocado, if you know what I mean. Bomb? I didn't set a bomb. You can talk? Of course I can talk. Where's this bomb? What? <laughs> Why are they talking? What the heck? That's fucking what? hilarious. That's such a weird plot twist. What the fuck? What? How did that work? Also, that's someone's home right there. Are we not gonna talk about that? It's his home right there. If I didn't have to shave every few hours just to maintain my non hero suit appearance. Jack, he's literally you. He's oh literally God. me, for real, for real. When I contacted Destroyed All about their product turning me into a hairy, bare man, the company acted as if what had happened to me was... It didn't meet your expectations. They gave him a 10% off coupon. They didn't even give him money. We keep seeing valid villains in the show. They didn't even change the formula. Holy smoly. This is Jesus the most comically Christ. evil company I have heard of in my entire life. It's literally life. called Destroy Doe. This company is just Nestle. If it wasn't for you meddling, mutant, animal-hating kids... <laughs> yeah. I would have destroyed my own company to get those planospheric disc pieces. Wait, he owns Destroido? JonTron is really rich, bro. Why do you think it's, he, he stopped uploading so much? Previously on Mystery Incorporated. Oh, yes. Yes, this was the genocide, remember? Where they literally animated them killing just a bunch of natives brutally. Kor sounded more excited about genocide than Christopher Columbus there, bro. He was, he was like, oh, this is the genocide, guys. <laughs> They got the white rapper in the building. Let's go. When was the last time you saw a white rapper? That's how they get their like diversity quota. Cause it's not every day you see like a young Macklemore. <laughs> oh my God, he actually looks fire. He okay. turned him into a vegetable. He turned him into Machine Gun Kelly. A crazy mummified corpse whispering to Biru is creepy times 10. It gets creepier. I Googled it. Daphne is literally looking up what Nibiru is when we did that about five episodes ago. <laughs> we are ahead of the show. Well, the internet was a lot slower back then. It took like five days just to do a simple Google search. Giant planet called Nibiru passes by Earth every 3,600 years and allows its sentient inhabitants to interact with humanity. What? That is not, that is not, oh my God. So aliens? That's not, that's not aliens. what came up when I Googled it. I'm just gonna say that right now. <laughs> You were saying it's only because I'm used to shooting live targets. Wait, what? He said he's used to shooting live targets. Bro, hold on a second. He's killing motherfuckers. What kind of crime is going on in this town that you have a lot of experience shooting people? Oh my god. Albert Einstein looking ass. Krampus thinks you have been bad, bad little girl. Oh, oh. Ew. Uh, Ew. Get away from those girls, Krampus. This is probably like a real guy underneath the mask, and he's just bullying these children. What the fuck? He's kidnapping them. Oh my god, this is fucked. What the police? Where are the police? This is kind of fucked up. What the hell? Where are you, Joe Swanson? That's our boy. This is going to take longer than we thought. Why couldn't they just get in there and grab it really quickly? Like, who cares if you set off the lasers? You have a getaway vehicle. Because <laughs> there's probably a trap set up that'll kill them. You know what? I'm the type of person who would have fallen for that trap. There's something missing over there. That's Charlie the Haunted Robot spot. Charlie the Haunted Robot. 
we must let nothing stop us. Oh, the planetspheric disks, because when they align them, then the planet is gonna crash into Earth. That's what, that's the planetspheric. Oh, so they're trying to destroy the Earth the entire time and they didn't even know that they're like, bad and evil? They think they're gonna get like money or something from Like the Nazi bird has no idea what the hell's going on here. I know the one place that holds the baddest kid. <laughs> that's what? kinda weird. That's mm. weird. That Is was it? weird, Fred. That was Fred's sus. like, I know where all the children go. And that's, that is, with today's lingo, Fred, that did not add up. Oh, this oh, kid! this fucking... She was the one who started the uprising. She's benching fucking... How much is she benching? Like, 250 with that shit. What the hell? Oh, literally, it's all the characters. I hate to say it. This is like One Piece again. Dude, what the hell? Is, they would all be jumping them. They're all in prison because of them. Like... Do not be so sure about that. Whoa! Oh, what the hell? You cannot just- that's like a thousand pounds that she just lobbed like that. Where is she hiding those muscles? She's lean, okay? What the- what the tongue? What the tongue? How does his tongue do that? What is with this? This is like the strongest person they fought so far. He literally just eviscerates people on sight. Like, hello? What the fuck? Where- what? Are they in a creepy baby factory? What the fuck is this? This is really creepy. Is the... Like, just genuinely creepy. He, that was like a... He was just chilling, though. Okay, that was not scary. Charlie the Haunted Robot? The haunt... What? The Haunted Robot. That was missing. No, they stole the planetspheric disc. No! Because they took it. They took the briefcase. Fred just realized his parents never loved him. I don't know how he didn't realize it before because they abandoned him for like 18 years of his life. But you know, it's a... Wait, they have all of the pieces already? What, what if it's a, a fake out from Fred? That would be crazy. <gasps> oh, it's a fake out. It was a test. They're not real. Where are our pieces? What? Left a fucking DVD? What? We created Krampus by borrowing Charlie the Haunted Robot. What? They what is that? What? Oh my god, and guess what? What if the ones that they grabbed are also fake, so now they have all the pieces? That would be insane, dude. This is like 12D chess right now. I'm actually blown away. What? This is the craziest thing ever. Someone with intimate knowledge of Mr. E's lair. Hot dog water. Hot dog water's on their side now. Oh, yes! oh my Yo, god. god. Real mom, real dad, don't expect me home for dinner. Hey! Yeah. Holy shit. Yo, his GF's there too. Scooby's GF is there. They just took their dog though. Scooby took their dog. The whole planetspheric disc. It's gonna destroy the entire world. <laughs> Naviru, what the fuck? It's time for the Spanish Genocide Part 2. Five years ago, quest bars were created. This is the quest bar factory? Bro, that dog kind of looks like Crypto, the super dog. That dog looks like very dog-like. I think it's Johnny Quest. This is like another Hanna-Barbera thing. Who is Johnny Quest, dude? Like, I don't know Hanna-Barbera. It's a show. Who was it? Hanna-Barbera? Hanna-Barbera, yeah. <laughs> Hello? Why is the dog what? this strong? Who is he? What the fuck? Look who it is. Oh, it's another guy. Nibiru. <laughs> what? We get it. We get it. We already know Nibiru. Can you give us any other information, please? There he is, the robot from the Blue Falcon episode that we saw at the beginning. He's gonna steal the planetspheric disc. That shit looks like a transformer. Blue Falcon! And Dynamite Dog Wonder. That is the gayest looking dog I've seen in my entire life. But Blue Falcon does look cool. I kind of fuck with the costume. He wants to be the Crimson Chin so bad, but you're not. You're not the Crimson Chin, buddy. Bro, that's me taking my socks off after I realized I put the wrong ones on, man. Dude, I feel that, bro. I actually feel that. What the? What? That's disgusting. 
That's disgusting. <laughs> I see why he was sniffing the kids. That's weird. That was so out of pocket. I hear you, Scoob. Just because I'm a cyborg. This episode sucks. I hate these characters. I like the dog. He's pretty funny. I just don't get it. Like, why? Why is this episode so focused on Blue Falcon? Blue Falcon thinks he's the main character. This isn't your show, dude. This isn't your show. <laughs> There's a certain metallic dragon sniffing around your business, and we'd sure like to know what you know about it. This is a very weird dynamic here, because they they like have to talk to each other, but they've been fighting like the entire show. I can do this the easy way or the hard way. I'm hoping you go for the hard way. Dino Mutt. The dental instruments. They're gonna torture Mr. E? Actually, he kind of deserves it. Sin. So you're the dragon's file keeper. What is happening in this? What is going on? I feel like I tuned on to the wrong channel, man. What happened? Sacrifice anything to save your dog. I would. But that's not my dog. And then they just kill Scooby. They're like, well, I guess we don't need him. Slit his throat. What is happening? They're in a space. Why did the like we had like the mo we like just entered the dramatic peak of the show and we have this episode like they got all the planet sphere discs. They're talking about this Whoa. fucking world ending insane curse that they're trying to solve. And now we're with fucking goobery goo. What? 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 Since when can you do that, Shaggy? What, what the hell is the power scaling? What? Fred is just beating them up? What the fuck? They're all just beating up these people. Since when are they all good at fighting? I'm sorry, when did this development happen? Dude, Shaggy's using 100% of his power right now, man. How many people are here? How many people? Until tragedy struck. <laughs> Oh my god, he died. No. That dog bit through metal. Like that was just a dog. That was just a dog. Like that was just a normal dog. The heart. But doctor, are you telling me you're going to power this dog? Why is this guy not voice acting? But Zach did. There's a heart in there. What the hell? It's like they gave him a lobotomy. Like, why does he sound like that? So precious was this invention. I trusted only one person to test it. This isn't much of a mystery though, because we didn't see any of these characters until the like, who is that? I don't care. Hello? What the fuck is going on? He fused his own daughter to the suits. Oh my god, she's alive. She bad. Chigo. It's Chigo from Kim Possible. Oh, is he... What? What's his name? Dr. Drake? Dr. Draken, bro? Dr. Drake. Drake. Dr. Drake. <laughs> Yo, I wish Drake was my doctor, man. As this island explodes with the fury of a thousand suns. That's like a lot. Like we only really would need the fury of one sun to destroy everything. Like a thousand sun. That's like kind of extra. There were so many people on that island still. All the henchmen. There was like 200 henchmen on that island. They're all dead. They're literally all dead. <laughs> That was an episode of the show. How the fuck did they follow up literally like the best episode of the show so far with the worst episode? How does that happen? Were those two in the one of the old Mystery Inks? Because I remember there was one that was like a lot of monks and it had a donkey. I do feel like I remember seeing that, although I don't know how it's going to end up tying into the plot. You're saying a queer coded this character? Yeah, you're saying a queer coded this character? That's a good joke, Jack. I'm gonna steal that. I stole it from the chat. Wait, you you stole it from the chat, <laughs> and I stole it from you yeah. within the span of 10 seconds. <laughs> that seems a little painful. Oh, like, no, he's, 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 bald. Bald. he's wearing a wig. He bald. He's just like me for real, for real, bro. We after all the times you guys have gotten Scooby- Do you know Vincent Van Gogh was never actually a Vincent Van Gogh reference? Yes, he was. No, it was a Vincent Price reference. We got like a million comments about it because we made that. I don't know who Vincent Price is. So He's apparently really like a horror me. guy. He's like a horror director or something. Mr. Avocados. <laughs> <laughs> they refuse to say his name correctly. Like, that's just straight up rude. And when you fail, I'll be here to clean up your mess. <laughs> <laughs>
Fine, we failed. That's right, Brad. <laughs> That's right, Brad. I like how positive she is. It's nice. Don't push me, older pretty boy. Hold, why did he specify older pretty boy? Because the boys that Pericles typically goes for are of a younger age, okay? No! My glasses! My gla oh my god, this is a, oh, this is a classic this is Velma classic moment. Velma. Dude, they zoomed in the thumbnail for us. That's Jack right there. He's just trying to get a good thumbnail. Come here, Velma. We need you in 10 more videos. Everyone only clicks on the Velma thumbnail. No, don't! Turned me into an unfunny comedian. Hey, Velma, move. Bro, you're blocking the movie. Well, I am done with this charade. But we're already sold. Why is he walking? His walking away is animation is so smooth. Look at how smooth his arms are. Helgen Jew. Jew. Why you really emphasize that last why that last part? Why? Why? Why did why you emphasize do that? that last part so why, much? What do you mean by that, Vincent Van Gogh? Hot diggity demon looking ass. That's all I'm. Is saying. this ER? Oh, it's on. <laughs> why did Velma say it like that? Who gave Velma permission to have these one-liners? Okay, you're not allowed to be cool. You're supposed to say jinkies and stuff. I wonder what this is. <laughs> Appears organic. <laughs> they both thought she was weird for that and just left immediately. Oh my god. They just now have m martial arts <laughs> abilities. No, like, they got occurred? a huge buff here in like the second half of season two. And you will never be able to stop him! Why are they- well, Why bye, Velma Velma's... in particular? Oh. What the fuck did Velma Dude, do Velma to this Velma was heavy guy? though. You see that? She was heavy. What did he, bro, did man, he was just he was break. just here to sweep up, man. What was he doing? It's that critic, Val Dash Helgenju. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking name, man. I can't. The anti-Semitism. I can't get over it. Scooby Doo is a little much. He emphasizes the juice so Helgen Jew! Helgen Jew! And then we're gonna meet him and he's gonna be like, yeah, my name's just Helgen. I don't know why he keeps adding that part at the end. It's kinda weird. Helgen Jew. He doesn't even look Jewish. That's fucked up, man. How is your name Helgen Jew and you aren't Jewish? Think about that. He's like the all the white guys with the last name Black. Or all the black guys with the last name White. Like Walter White. The Earth and Ocean. He's not black. <laughs> <laughs> it took you really? so long yeah. to say that. No time to run. There's only panic. Our the mission falls into the Atlantic. That rhymed. Holy shit. It's the Pacific, you hack! Hey, you're not allowed to do that. That's extremely disrespectful. <laughs> Vincent Mangu fell off hard. He's now doing shitty stage plays, getting heckled. Wait, is this a musical? It's Thriller! It's a musical?! I thought this was a play! Oh my god, it's fucking- Why are they doing Thriller? This is so weird. Is this actually supposed to be Thriller? Yeah, it's like the Thriller music video. I you not to tell my story. Bro, they're watching. They're like, man, the SFX in this is so good. They're like, holy shit, this play just got good. What the hell? <sighs> churro. What? Churro. churro. What? I can't eat Mexican food. This churro is too spicy. George Again? Wait, so how is George Avocado? Didn't the ghost attack him? It's Avocados. Yeah, but didn't the ghost attack Avocados? How can Avocados be the ghost? Everything was going so well until you mystery brats blew up my crops. They oh, did, yeah, that do did that. happen. That they did happen. They did happen. do that. They did kind of destroy his entire means of livelihood with no compensation. So the brown residue that was left behind? That's right. Guacamole. He was so happy to say that. The donkey never tried to help save the town, but to destroy it. Don't tell me the donkey's gonna end up being the most important character in the <laughs> entire city. He left behind two oddly marked disc pieces. What, did he like poop them out or something? <laughs> like, why did he leave them behind like that? We attempted to destroy Oh, that looks oh terrible. God, insane. They're zoinked out of their minds in this scene. Hello? The evil manipulated Porto. Porto set out to destroy it. <laughs> what? Evil? The donkey is to blame. Yo, Porto, what the fuck, man? Chase Porto to the alligator. So the animal always goes crazy. So Scooby's gonna turn evil? Always the animal. He the no, Scooby. The dog. Holy, Holy shit. shit. This Scooby's is gonna die? They're gonna kill Scooby? You can't do that. The series just ends. Shaggy puts down Scooby. Wait, what about that title? What's the title of the episode? Core? I think it's a... 
something about aliens. Oh, uh, aliens. Okay, interesting. Interesting. You're living in a van down by the river. I didn't have much choice. My folks. <laughs> <laughs> why is that in the? Why is the that? The comedic in... editing, the cut. I didn't have much choice. This has all happened before. It begins with the animal. The dog dies. Dude, I'm gonna be honest, I'm okay with a normal zombie, but like a Mexican zombie is where I draw the line. <laughs> They're taking our jobs in the zombie industry too, man? What are they we gonna do? Be in our country, man, be honest. Opinion, no vote. She can't talk. She's a dog. She's she dog, don't, she doesn't have thoughts. You fucking groomer, Scooby. Maybe she's the mute dog and she can't- If like, she was mute, she would just get a pencil and a piece of paper and write her thoughts, okay? I don't think she can hold a pencil very Sign well. Sign language for dogs. It's dog, real, they don't, okay? They don't have hands, man. They have paws. Morse code, hello? <laughs> anyway, there I was. Wait one night in the closet. He was stuck in the, in the Oh, he oh, was, was in the closet. Gay coding. Gay coding. But he's pansexual. I thought we already established that. Oh, no, he's mayor he's sexual. Not pansexual. He's mayor sexual. This man has never even seen a pan in his entire life. It came for me. What came for you? An EBE. -E. An EB? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that so funny to me? A gray alien, you know, those dinky little bodies, great big heads. What if by alien, he's referring to like a certain nationality that isn't American? You're really hyper fixated on this, this immigrant thing right now. What the hell? They, they, they <laughs> cut back to the, to the scene of the aliens coming in and it's just a bunch of Mexican guys coming in. They're like, you forgot to pay us after we mowed your lawn. Why would the Mexican be a lawn mower, like mowing lawns, Core? What's that? Why would, I don't know, because he's got a lawn to mow. I just feel strange that, that that's your first assumption when it comes. It is offensive. To, it is offensive that you would say oh, that. Oh, it's offensive because I'm assuming that they have a job. Yeah, sorry. While some call the Nordic aliens our space brothers, the less nitwitted among us, by which I. He said among us. Is there a reason? Editor, you know what to do. What Can does that mean? What is He's, You know what it means, man. It's fucking AI Putin. He's got to come down for the skies. What now? What does that actually mean, Corm? What, what is AI mean? Putin? How does how it's does like he, the, how does the he videos of him himself? where he's like where Putin's like singing like meme songs and stuff? Oh, you mean like when Barack Obama and Joe Biden and Trump and Bill Clinton are all playing Call of Duty Black Ops together? Well, that that video was real. That one was real. Right? <laughs> Stupid, stupid corn. Stupid, stupid core. Do you have a response, core? I never fucked with Sheriff Bronson. Cheeseburger. Why does that core look so succulent? Like, is it just me or does that core look very like corn, not core? I'm not saying that core looks succulent. I'm saying that the. I think the corn looks very nothing. suckable, and core does too. So <laughs> I, I'm. There's a Venn diagram of, of suckable things, and core and corn are there. The mystery machine dies. The radio, a crop circle. I hate to say it, but there really are aliens among us. Why are you clapping? It's Why been over. Clapping? It's been like fucking three years since this game was relevant. Uh, no one said anything about a game, Core. I think that. What was just game weird. are you talking? I was just, I was just excited because Fred finally talked in the episode. He hadn't talked. Oh, I'm talking about destroy clapping. all humans. Editor, you know what to do, bro. What do they? Know? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> but as I have been trained by Doctor Weber. Ooh, Weber, yikes! German. That's German. German, German. She is related to the bird. The German people in this show don't have a good track record okay now sheriff keep your Why, i just she's so ugly dude i'm sorry i was <laughs> I, I thought you were gonna say the opposite she's bad as hell bro i knew i'd been repeatedly probed but i had no memory of it i knew i'd been repeatedly probed he had no memory but he knew my asshole is looser than usual it's a feeling that i'm used to eating to do will you take nova for the night that's disgusting. I hate that dog. Why do you hate the dog? Just hate Scooby's attraction to the dog. The dog's cute. The dog is a victim. I just can't look at Why, it. So you think it's disgusting for being a victim? <laughs> no, I don't think it's disgusting because it's a victim. I I hate it because I had to be reminded that it's a you victim. You hate it because it's a victim. It. Okay. That looks like a toy car. That is not. That that is like like when people buy really expensive cars and then they paint them like the ugliest color known to man. What color is ugly? Like I feel like all colors are nice except for lime green. All colors are nice. Okay, fucking centrist ass liberal. Shut the fuck up. You hate victims, bro. Well, I won't even be able to fake knowing things like her first name and how she likes her bacon cut into little heart-shaped chunks. Men can talk about their feelings and grab Yo. each other by the ascot, and it's not gay. Sheriff, now let's get some sleep. 
can we talk about how these guys are sleeping fully clothed? Well, y you have to make sure it's not gay. If you take off any clothes when you sleep next to a man, that's like extremely But they're sleeping gay. on separate couches. Who is it? It's it's hot dog water again. I'm pretty sure they got hot dog water in solitary confinement at this point. They, they got her in a vat of hot dog water boiling to death. Hold on, everyone. It's trapping time. Road glue? It's trapping, trapping time. time. No, what? It's it's hello, trapping hello. What? time. I did not just fucking say it's that. It's trapping that time. That was the funniest what? bullshit I've heard in my entire life. Were that it were, boyo, then pro Oh my what? goodness. He's a leprechaun. Jacksepticeye. Over the morning to you, Velma. The clams induced a hallucination that made everything seem the real. Shut up. What? Shut up. That's so what? Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. No, we need to no, roll no, that no, back no, a little no. bit. You're going away for a long, long time. Now he's getting insecure because he told all those stories about getting probed and he realizes that none of them are true. Like, it's kind of weird, like, you knew so much about the male prostate. I found something. It's Senor like, Primero. Senor, Senor Gator. The first, first key. Velma, okay. shut the fuck up. I can do it, bro. It's chill. Let Eden do it, Velma. Like, chill. We get it. You took one Spanish class, bro. What? The violin's raising and they're evil and they're invisible. What? Oh, what, what happened to the lights? If this farmer doesn't have a gun, this is the most unrealistic show ever. Whoa! What? CGI Ruby Monster! Editor, play the Ruby Rock song, but play the play while I'm talking over the song. So talking da, da, da. over the song as you. What's the matter with you? You got potatoes in your ears. Oh my god, the the oh my god, the orange woman. Orange woman bad. She literally has an orange shaped body, like it's so round. Oh my god, this is in, this is so What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they're lost. getting tra they're all done. There's no lost. way they survive. This is How do you live? They're being trampled. Do you think this is George Avocados being jealous of all the other farmers? It's avocados. His, do you think George Avocados is jealous of all of all these other farmers because his farm got destroyed? by that bomb they're around behind Velma while she researches stuff thing care to join us hmm. Ew. Whoa. Ew. stop uh, it's disgusting make it stop I think it's a wholesome relationship I've come to understand I just don't like straight Scooby like I'm not a fan one cannot make a genius omelet without breaking a few worthless eggs. <laughs> I love the good logic. How utilitarian is of him? Am I being, am, am I right or am I right? Professor Pericles is very base. Reminds me of a very, uh, like, World War II-esque German. You know what I mean? John Tron is pissed with Adolf. Oh, is this, a, is this after he went on the Destiny debate? He was like, I don't know, maybe your ideas aren't so good after all. I heard Carnivorous genetically engineered skull cattle is going to eat crystal coal. <laughs> include that. Include that whole clip. Her explaining That's that so entire funny. thing. What? What is the one for? Well, the one of Brock the saying. Yeah, the Brock really clip. Originally received yeah. Professor oh my god. This is millions upon millions in property damage right now. Be honest. Are they running away from the the damage they could cause or the terrible CGI? That That's looks so fucking cool. hilarious. Oh my god, this stop. looks hilarious. This looks so awful. Really goofy. Mind if I play co pilot? Stop oh learning. Oh my goodness. People they're are gonna dying. They're going to join People. the Mile High Club. It's. It's. Yes. It makes your unusually large hands look. <laughs> oh my god, stop, bro. <laughs> Oh, that's Damn. so gross. Ew. Oh. It's that's so much <laughs> grosser than I could have imagined. For real, for real, bro. I think this might be where they were really pushing their limits on what they could accomplish with the TV show. It doesn't look that good. The herd is abandoning its attack on Crystal Cove and is coming to protect their queen. Like, good job saving the town and everything, but the town is like 90% gone. How still. much did they save in the at the end of the day? Yeah. He just they have a fucking rocket launcher. <laughs> no! No, I wanted her to die. Bro, I I imagine to die. though. Ima bro, this is like this Lion King. This is the Lion King. This is Lion King. King. Is Lion King. Lion King. Oh, it's Lion King. <laughs> no. Play, no, play yeah. the Lion King music. Play it. Yeah. Play the music. Wait, they can swim. Oh my, you just put an invasive species in the water. Now they're gonna kill the polar ice cap. <laughs> Bro. We're done. 
Oh my god, she's dead! <laughs> oh my god, please be dead. Rude boy and the Scottastics totally ate it 30 years ago in a gnarly plane crash. See? Oh my god, ska music. That guy looks like he has several allocations, you know what I mean? Just Weinstein over here. The night that ska died. Ska? This is what ska- We watched the most ska- What the- She's dead. What the fuck? have every record they ever released right here in the store. Of course, they only released one. What? Of course, they only released one. <laughs> she is the most extra, like, employee ever. Oh, Velma likes Ska? Oh my god, Velma's love- Oh my god, hello? Jinkies, that is catchy. This is not that good. This is kind of sad, though, because the old mayor and sheriff went on a date here. But now the old mayor has been reduced to ashes and sheriff is being forced by society to be straight. Like, this is a sad episode to think about. Yeah, look at this. All men and women now. That's that's pretty messed up. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a really deep hole, too. For some reason, the people getting, like, this killed this episode are, like, sucked down. It's, like, really graphic and well animated, I feel like. Like, you can really see the struggle in their fucking face. Dude, they're literally more scared of the ska music than they are of the actual ghouls. Look at this. Oh, it's mind control. No, they're giving them LSD because that's the only way to enjoy, like, a music genre this mid. Where's Scooby going? Where he goes every day, five times a day. Five times a day? Oh my goodness, he's gonna come. He's gonna pull a Shinji Ikari. Don't do it, Scoob. Shinji, Shinji, do! No! Editor, can you make an edit with Scooby on come on his hand? <laughs> <laughs> They're dancing and they can't stop. That dance is called skanking. Skanking. Skanking, that's what it was. It's the educational cartoon, because <laughs> I wouldn't have known that otherwise. I know you wouldn't have known it, man. I just, I yeah, And I know you wouldn't have known it either with your dumb ass not being able to remember skanking. I'm so fucking smart. I'm so smart, man. Dude, he passed out from exhaustion. He's been skanking for too long. <laughs> These are the worst villains ever. They're they're evil like ghosts, but they they drive shitty Vespas and play awful ska music. These are the lamest <laughs> fucking villains ever. Cover your ears. Yeah, cover your ears because the music fucking sucks. Like this show has good music in it. Like they could have done more here. Guys, I'm skanking for the rest of the recording. Okay. Yo, why are they busting it down though? Fred's got the schmooze, man. Dude, Shaggy is tone deaf and Scooby does not register music. This is the dumb. This is oh so my good. God. We do, do voodoo. We, we do, do voodoo. voodoo. I'm glad that their lyrics like haven't changed at all. Like still great lyrics. They listen to him. <laughs> they listen to him because of that. Are you serious? How the fuck did that work? Why don't they just contact the hex girls? Like they know them. One, two, one, two, three, four. Oh my goodness! It's gonna be genre fusion rocks. What is this? Punk rock ska music? How much of this are we even going to be able to put in a YouTube video? Like, are these songs going to get claimed? I hope they're not. That would imply, like, people are listening to them outside of the show. What the fuck is happening right now? What am I- I, like, what am I watching? <laughs> this is so dumb. These bands are having a mid-off right now, dude. <laughs> Yo, what? Shaggy, Shaggy pulls out the guitar. Hello? What the fuck? What the fuck? Yo! What the fuck is happening right now? I thought they were tone deaf. They're not even moving their fingers. They're not even moving their fingers. What are they playing? Wait, this show just went, this episode just went zero to 100. What? No, what this the is fuck is happening what? right now? Scooby Doo just farted what? all over them. Rude boy is actually. It's just rude boy. Yeah, it's just them. It's just them. No one listens to ska music anymore because it sucks. That's that's it. We planned to be only gone one year, but writing a perfect song took blooming forever. Wait, that was their perfect song? That was their perfect song? That, that was the piece of music they spent 30 years on. 
What the fuck? Goofy, aw, oh, they did not just enter the police car like that. So I'm curious, what did they do that was illegal? Like, they played music that was too good, man? Like, come on. Let an artist do their thing. Like, I think they're just trying to oppress some real artists right now of the greatest musical genre, Ska. Those dogs weren't there before. Yeah, because she just drew them. She meant like the note heads. That's what they're called, actually. Oh. Bet you didn't even know that, buddy. Of course, it's the only musical idea this entire show has. Is there something written on the inside? S. Yahweh, perhaps? There is. S must stand for Susan. Susan Yahweh, what? Second key, segundo Yahweh. I didn't know that Velma being able to speak Spanish would be so important. <laughs> it's to really going important. Forward. <laughs> the cut! The cut to Scooby at the fucking deathbed of his girlfriend! Is she gonna flatline? Edit her, edit her flatline. Oh She's my God. flatlining! No! She <laughs> what the fuck? She's a robot. What? What the fuck? <laughs> what? What the fuck was that? Nibiru is coming. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about the dog! Oh, my favorite scene in the whole show. And they still killed the dog. That's the funniest part. Is the dog dead? I guess they did flatline. Bacon and butter, bread and croissant snack. Is this supposed to be Paula Dean? Is this before the Paula Dean allegations? This is after the allegations, but like people just loved her cooking shows that much. They forgave her for putting those kids in the oven and baking them into cookies. <laughs> is that what she did? That's what Paula Dean did, famously. No. Oh my god! Why is he in a gimp outfit? No, not hell of a boss. Don't touch my Paula Deen! Danger, Kachinga! Oh my god, they're back! Oh my goodness, it all connects! When Rick Spartan sees Vor, he knows he's gotta be there. I see Vor, Kachinga. Let's go over there and for each other. You're looking at pictures of your ex. He's just looking at his like stash of like nudes that, that she sent him back when they were still dating. But this is so messed up. This is new nudes of your ex who you murdered. He murdered this woman. I don't know, man. This guy seems kind of strong. Does he have the Holy Spirit of Paula Dean inside of him? And that's where he got his strength. Oh my goodness. Shaggy and Scooby have to challenge him to an eat off. It'll devour the entire food supply and starve us all. It's gonna cause world hunger, a problem that already exists in our society? What? No, well, everybody in Crystal Grove is gonna starve to death, and they're already doing pretty bad because Shaggy and Scooby are destroying the food supply as is. Kachinga, make book plenty open. Hold, hold. KK. He just role plays like Kachinga is like a savage that he, he brings with him on his journeys. Why did you have to call him a savage, bro? Like, well, he's a fucking British man, so he. He is a savage. Tainting the bread supply in the 1780s that ultimately led to the French Revolution. He just said that this demon caused the French Revolution of 1780. What? It I believe it. Coincidentally, he did not say where this demon was during the 1940s. I find that very suspicious. Also, why is this bulge so big? Not that I was looking. I was looking. Mom, mom, are you here? Oh, do you think the this Satan like gets like the abilities of every every person he he eats? So like he eats Fred, and then he he's like has a knowledge of traps, and then like he eats Velma, and then she becomes like a lesbian or something. Yeah, yeah. And then he eats Mindy Kaling, and he becomes really unfunny. He eats you and becomes like kind of sexy. And my mom? She's fine. She's fine as hell, Velma. You got a sexy ass <laughs> mother right there. <laughs> that would be crazy <laughs> if he said that. Oh, they're getting fat, guys. D d I don't like this. I don't like the fat montage. Oh, oh my thumbnail! Oh! Oh! What? what is it's happening right now? What? That was actually fed. It showed them getting fat and then they kiss and belch. What the fuck did I just watch? Things gotten too big. Them being fat has fucking nothing to do with the episode so far. What's the fucking plan? They watch a couple Nick Avocados videos and like they just like the lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shaggy ass crack though. I would sniff it. I'm gonna be dead ass with you. This is definitely like a thing. Someone had a lot of intent when they made this episode, when they pitched it. Super size to size. 
But like that guy has like muscle and these guys have just fat. There's no muscle there. This is like a bodybuilder versus like two Texans, basically. Now let's see who the gluten demon really is. Paula Dean. What? That doesn't even make any sense. How does she eat herself? I knew it was her. Remember I said it? I didn't say it. I didn't know who was her. Oh, y'all, it is so simple. How the fuck was she, like, lifting up a 600-pound Shaggy? Since when is Paula Deen this strong? Yeah, why is she so strong? I can explain why she's so fat, but why is she so strong? Like, the fat part clearly makes sense. Tercero llave. It's the third key. Whoa! <laughs> okay, what does the fat woman have to do with this, though? What does Paula Deen... How does Paula Deen relate to the greater overarching mystery? Because Paula Deen was there when all of the indigenous people were killed. She was cheering in the background. Someone in all caps in chat. This fat fetish episode is part of the lore? <laughs> <laughs> you literally can't skip this episode. You cannot skip it. It is essential to the plot. And you're out of the group. What? He had like microorganisms inside of Ricky. I put mutated cobra larvae in your spine. What? What? Mutated cobra larva? What? The fuck? This doesn't look like the crystal cove from the brochure. This is the family that keeps getting fucked over. This family can't catch a break. Look how pissed the kid is. A giant man! No, my greatest fear! A slightly above average sized human being! Oh shit. Even worse, it's a fucking cosplayer. This is a robbery. The villain in this episode is just robbing the- <laughs> They could have just like run him over though. They were still in the car. You want to know how I am? Quite so. He's gonna Mr. Steal, steal Your Girl! He's really robbing them of everything. Oh. What the <laughs> fuck? What the fuck? But would you care to accompany me? Me? Okay. Your daughter, your daughter, your fucking <laughs> daughter. Hello? This is the worst person ever. <laughs> what? You're just abandoning your child? What? The villain of this episode is literally the Rizzler. God damn it, he's so cool. Nova's still alive. Wait, I thought she was dead. They're pouring- they, they're drinking wine. They poured wine. Okay, we know we this relationship is weird because Scooby is drinking out of a glass and she is drinking out of a dog bowl. <laughs> um, that shows the weirdness. No, of no, that's just like- that's just like some people can't use chopsticks. It's like the same kind of thing. It was a dream! It was a fucking dream! Why the fuck is this dog still alive? Oh, it's a dream, what? it's a dream, it's a dream and a dream. No! <laughs> a dream. What is happening? I know hiring him may have been a bit premature, but just look at him. Oh my. This is a trope. Wait, the Rizzler! That's the Rizzler! It's the- That's the- None of those annoying tourists to deal with like last time. <sighs> like I always say, dear. This is the- This is like sad, like- Jim Batty for real for real though. This is what people are doing in the future once like the nuclear winter hits. This is what they do to go on vacation. I held his hand out to my nan and- it was terrifying, I tell you. Oh, is he brainwashing them or something? Huck. He's not brainwashing them, he's just that cool. It's Pete Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, Pete Davidson entered the series. Oh my god. It is such an honor to meet you, Mayor Nettle. Like, just jump this guy. He's not even holding his gun. There's like 20 people in this room. Everybody is getting cucked in this building right now. Jack, he has like Conqueror's hockey. Like, he gets put so hard that nobody else in the room can even move while he's getting put the cuckers hockey cuckers hockey <laughs> you want the dashing debonair rogue section right between the swarthy scoundrel and the exuberant imp brother's nerd emoji ass <laughs> he's in a library that's his fucking his job is to be a nerd emoji dude imagine getting paid to be a nerd emoji man Bro, this is literally like a Twin Peaks scene right now. This is literally like a Twin Peaks moment. This is literally the room in Twin Peaks with the really short guy. This is like, uh, this is like a total reference. That's crazy. Why is he busting it down sexually though? Yeah, well, maybe you better take a closer look at your beautiful women. Whoa! 
transphobic Velma, dude. You're beautiful women. They're not real. She's a turf. Velma is a turf. <laughs> Velma's a turf. Those aren't women, Fred. <laughs> I play Hogwarts Legacy. Remember the Daph? Daphne? She was right here. What? The Riz is insane. <laughs> The Riz is supernatural, dude. He's just like abnormally good at getting put. Like that's, that's this is literally what happens when you like start watching Andrew Tate, though. Pool boy literally has nowhere to be and nothing to do. Dude gets put as the pirate and not as the pirate, though. Think I don't that. think it's the pool boy. The pool boy is a red herring, probably. There's nowhere one else it could be. Like there's literally no one else could be. Hot dog water. It's the librarian. I'm agreeing with it being the librarian. I guess that is the only other character in this episode so far. <laughs> he was on screen for like five seconds, but that feels like a logical twist. She's got an idea how to stop the dandy highwayman. And so do I. TNT? We're gonna fucking murder him. You steal my girl, I steal your fucking organs. He's like, oh god, no, Velma, I don't want a nerd. I can't do this. Starts turning away. The librarian! I never get pussy. That's about it, quite frankly. All you have to do is pay attention to them when they're talking. Wait, what? We just learned how to <laughs> talk to women. <laughs> As a part as a part of my evil master plan, I learned how to pay attention when women talk to me. When the going got tough, I had a little help. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So he wasn't even actually listening to woman. I this fuck this what the fuck just happened? Like if he if not for all the like crime, like the like robbing people at gunpoint, you know, he would have an amazing life. He just learned how to be good with women. That was literally the whole his whole life story. I am not Nova. I have only borrowed her body so that I may bring you an urgent message. What? It's happening. I am of the Anunnaki. Interdimensional beings that visit the planet Earth every few thousand years. What? <laughs> Interdimensional what? beings? It is aliens! It is aliens! But we have no physical form and must inhabit animals. Oh, so him and Pericles are Anunnaki. Is that like a Japanese word or something, Kor? What does is, what is Anunnaki mean? That's not Japanese. I don't know. Sounds pretty Japanese to me. The most evil one of all is imprisoned beneath Crystal Cove. Save yourself. Save your friends. Save the world. Save the world. Scooby-Doo versus the world. So there's like a canon explanation for why Scooby can talk. That's pretty funny. The neighbors have been calling in constantly with reports of unearthly moaning. Unearthly moaning. Do you think they walk around at night and just hear? <laughs> no, Michael, not there. <laughs> Sorry, that was kind of fucked up. Like, really Holy bad. shit! Yikes. That was a fucked up. <laughs> Holy shit, man. We're such soulmates. We're finishing each other's sentences. Come on, let's split, split up, up and look, look for clues. Oh my goodness, he's learning that they need to be a polycule. Wait a flipping second. This episode is called Man in the Mirror, and Fred is currently the man in the mirror. That's definitely special effects. Fred is using special effects to appear in said mirror. He is vain. He's looking at. Oh, oh, ah! It's 20 minutes past rendezvous time and still no Fred. They wait 20 minutes after rendezvous time to even think about getting him? And that's his soulmate. I mean, that's not that long. 20 <laughs> minutes a is a long time to wait. Tricky carburetor, remember? Rightio. Okay, let's rollio. His famous phrase, let's rollio. Jordan Peele directed this one. Eating leads to crumbs. Crumbs lead to germs. Germs lead to sick days from work. It's like you, what they the took hell? the worst character out of the show. I mean, the best character, out, not the worst one, the best character. They made him the worst character. <sighs> what happened? Is he gonna go outside? Everybody else is gonna be different? There's so many skulls. This is pretty graphic, to be honest. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that no detail skeleton right next to the suit. I think he might skull. interact with it, maybe. Norbert, catch. You drive. Norbert. Norbert. That's not even his name. Close. I'm just listening to the baseball game. I love sports. <laughs> what? The, the introduction of supernatural elements is so weird, but also it kind of fits with the show. You eat them. What was that, Scoobert? Scoobert. He's in the Bert dimension because all of their names end with Bert. Bert and Ernie. This is the timeline if Bert didn't have his Ernie. Shaggy. Scooby. They get raptured or some shit. What the fuck? 
No, they left me it behind. Can't be. It can't be true. Daphne. God, is it real? God, is it real? Daphne? Fred, where have you been? <sighs> I'd still hit. I'd still hit. Oh. Wood, 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 wood. I got more wood than Ben Shapiro walking out of Home Depot right now. Everyone aged quickly and one by one turned to dust until only I was left. So the disc sped up time? Everybody died of old age in like two weeks. I don't understand why you don't know where it is. Oh, you don't understand. <laughs> oh my He's God. so mean. Got any smarts in there behind those eye goggles? That isn't Fred. How don't, th how don't they get it? Come on. It's gotta be here somewhere. Keep sir. Yeah, she's got a wire. She's got a wire. Oh That's why he's listening god, to the headphones. You're right. Oh my god. I just remembered where I actually hid the disc. Wait, does Fred know that? I think Fred might know. Fred might know. Fred knows. This time for sure. He knows. Look at him. Look at his smug ass face. Gang, something is FF Tirado. Is it me? Or is Fred acting even stranger than usual? It's not you. It's not you. <laughs> Education board of Crystal Cove. They needed that to figure it what? out. What? You, you what? Wait, tell. how? How you did they figure that out, though? The skeletons. The skeletons. So that's why they were drawn, because they come to life. <laughs> Holy oh shit, God. dude. Sometimes you forget how Chadley Fred is, and then you remember he jumped on a flying airplane in the last season. <laughs> this dude is a menace. The old abandoned factory, hippie. And hippie. hippie! Bro, why are you roasting my boy? We're headed straight for that wall! It's solid brick! Is it? What does that mean? <laughs> what? Oh, it's it's a movie it's a set! Stage. It's a sound stage! It's a it's movie mystery. set! It's mystery! How did you know? Two big ones. Two big ones. Your tits are not the same size. Daphne would never forget that our first date was at the Trap Expo. Trap Expo. Trap Expo. Yo, y'all trying to go to Trap Expo this year? You said jeepies. Daphne says jeepers. Velma says jinkies. Nobody says jeepies. Nobody says That's jeepies. That's just plain silly. <laughs> I figured Crystal Cove must be phony too. It could only be. Dude, that's how you know Fred's an atheist though, because he didn't think he he doesn't believe in that superstitious bullshit. They're patent oh, well, pending. Shit said patent pending on the back. Okay. Is it Fred's fake parent? Like Maybe Fred's it parents? Is Fred's parents. I think it's Fred's. It's parents. definitely Fred's parents. They because yeah, yeah. they have like movie actor like vibes. Wouldn't that have been crazy though if Fred f***ed his mom by accident? Yes, that would be crazy. Oh, that's why people were saying it was the incest episode. You finally figured out I'm an imposter. <laughs> He's an imposter, guys. We Why all do it. Why did you react like Because like he's the imposter. Careful! <gasps> Don't hurt him! <laughs> <laughs> Ain't this where they did the first episode of Chainsaw Man or something? This is actually <laughs> better animated, though. This is so elaborate. Like, there's so much. There's so many pieces going I on in this. I feel like I'm watching two people co-op like a Mario game right <laughs> This now. is awesome. They're playing It Takes Two right now, but they are fighting relentlessly the whole time. <laughs> What the fuck? Hey, what yo! The, yo! He beat his dad. Fuck you, man. Get me out of this. He's the fake. They're like identical. <laughs> no, they um, are. Um, they listen to their voice. Actors. Listen <laughs> to their voice. On the hat. How do you feel about me? Well, I guess aside from traps and solving mysteries, um, er. Uh, my stomach's getting hurty. <laughs> so my that's getting just hurty. so adorable. That is, that is like the Aww. cutest moment in the entire show. Let's that was really real, cute. Dude. You're one of the most heartless criminals Mystery Inc. has ever faced, aren't you, Dad? Ooh! It's not a mask, you imbecile. I had plastic surgery. What? what? That is so unnecessary. What? What the fuck? You did not have to permanently do all of that. changed his appearance for this. It was the genius mind of Professor Pericles that he made them get surgery to become hideous. Look at her; she's old now. Is it so brilliant? You cannot begin to fathom its true genius. Not really. I will destroy the one thing you care about most. Traps. He cares about traps more, Pericles. You have not been watching the show. No. <laughs> True. Aww. Why didn't they just do that to start with, though? Like, just kidnap one of them? No, his parents were bait into luring them into the factory. You're not thinking 887D chests like Pericles. But he did make them get, like, 
permanently altering their face Didn't with he give plastic a fuck about these guys Pericles? true he probably, probably just did it because he wanted to troll them to be honest your life is in danger why is the nova voice actress kind of like she has like a nice voice though like high key bro like yeah it's like a sexy voice for I, a sexy um... dog you know maybe scooby was onto something oh no Dude, you've had to stream like 40 times, again. like... Scooby-Doo! <laughs> <laughs> he has found us! He's found us? Who is he? What is happening? Nibiru? Oh, the freak! The freak! That's the freak! I can see! Was that the sound of his brain shaking inside of his head? <laughs> oh my goodness, Mr. Beast fixed his vision! But I know in my head there must be some kind of logical explanation here that doesn't involve interdimensional aliens, no. magic, or ancient curses. Um, there has got to be logic. This could be it. The moment. The moment. What is the moment? Oh my God. Oh. Oh, he's just a contemporary artist. One more word out of you and yeah, and what? This guy seems very like logical for someone who's apparently gone crazy. Like he he's very well put together. The sitting room. What are you talking about? A world between worlds. A waiting room. A, a world what the between fuck? worlds. No, this is like the velvet room in Persona, dude. Find the monster's true identity, and it will be defeated. You guys aren't really buying any of this, are you? She's gonna create an atheism YouTube channel. Evil, he's evil. Doesn't look evil to me. He's even keeping track of the time, dude. A guy who keeps track of time can never be evil. True. Have you ever seen an evil guy with a watch? I don't think so. I don't know, man. The 9-11, they used the Casio watch in order to track time. And? Look. All the evil people from the... Casio's not evil. Are there. Dude, the mayor is just pretending the, to stand still. He was literally a different shade than the rest of the characters. Tapering candlesticks, Fred. <gasps> Like Fred's non-parental. Fred's, Fred's non-parental. <laughs> what you see are the best parts of all of us that have been trapped here in between worlds because of our association with the cursed treasure of Crystal Cove. Oh my god, that's why they're all weird. And so they, the, the treasure literally cursed them into being weird people. All the good parts of them have been locked in this like mid dimension. Because that nightmare freak is in here with us. I know who it is. It's hot dog water, hot dog water, hot dog water. If it's hot dog water, that would be insane. There's no way. I think we've said it's hot dog water to every single villain since hot this dog water's last where I'll appearance. I'll be surprised if it's hot dog water. This is the only one. Man walked into a Roadrunner cartoon. Oh, this is this is another one of the previous iterations of the Mystery Gang. Jinkies, the Darrow family. This is very interesting. I wasn't expecting like this turn, but it incorporates all of the previous mystery incorporated. Yeah, I love yeah. how interconnected everything in this show is. The Benevolent Lodge of Mystery. The Benevolent Lodge of Mystery, bro. They couldn't <laughs> pick a less like off the tongue name. Hey, the skunk. Yo, the mask on the skunk. That's cool. That's Loki. I like this one. <laughs> the Fiesta. Yeah! Yo, they're about to devour these fucking tortillas. They're dog. eating them You're whole? Wrong? They're just eating it straight? Motherfuckers eating the they're tortillas They're just eating raw. tortillas? Guys, I'm ready to wake up now. <laughs> wake up, wake up, wake up! And the monstrous freak found us! What if they do another send-up scene here? Scooby -doo -doo, like the music comes in, yeah, they're running around the, the hallways. Scooby -doo -doo, I love you. The tone Come of the on. scene just completely on, changes. He's got Velma. Quick! He's got Velma. It would be crazy to just ripped her in half and her guts went flying all over the place. You're me apart. Oh no! no. <laughs> You're really gonna pull out a movie You're reference at this apart, point? Lisa. Like, come that on. That was funny though. It doesn't make sense. I want it to make sense. <laughs> I need it to make sense. Velma is having a breakdown right now. Sometimes you have to not think. Sometimes you have to feel your way. No, oh, is that what they're telling us? What a Strange ah! message for that. <laughs> he's the, the same dog? size as the dog. Hold on, it's like he's the, the same size as the dog. That's not Lola. She's possessed by an interdimensional alien. Remember? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> it's trapping time. It's, it's trapping trappin time. time. He yes, he said the thing. <laughs> How are they? Oh, that was pretty easy. Hot dog water. Hot dog. Oh my god! It's a conquistador. But why? 
La pura verdad. The truth is simple. Oh, I, I thought I was about to have to translate and then he started speaking English. If he said the whole thing in Spanish, that would have been crazy. We must pay for all the horrible atrocities we committed while in service to the entity. Oh, oh my god, the oh. devil of this world is Christopher Columbus. I can still hear their screaming. All this screaming. Oh my goodness. This is horrifying. So they're telling me that the Spanish conquistadors only killed the natives because the freak told them to. Oh. Oh, is this the original? Oh my god, the original Scooby-Doo were indigenous! Which means the hunters of secrets. This the hunters so of secrets? What this the fuck? So what the fuck? I what the fuck? The hunters of secrets were the very first. They were the most pure. Yeah, except for all the human sacrifice that they practiced. They were very <laughs> pure, guys. The silence is deafening. Oh right my now. goodness. Oh, Cassidy. So they're going to talk to Cassidy. No, they're not. They don't care about Cassidy. <laughs> why are they, Why haven't they addressed the Cassidy? Like, Cassidy's dead, and they didn't they even have a reaction. A they didn't even have Cassidy. any reaction to seeing your body. He was a great dad, though. He was a great dad, though, even though he wasn't. I am going home. I am going home. Is everyone going back? I'm home. And I couldn't have done it without you. Kids. Oh my goodness, he said the line! Yippee! He said the line! Yeah. Yeah. Applause! We've been manipulated by some evil entity? Is that the only reason we're together? They're they're really fighting like predeterminism versus like agency and true. Found the temple of the dark altar. Has he got it? Does She's he evil. She's fucking evil. Velma's mom is evil. We all what know if it. Velma's mom was packing. Packing what? Evil. He? There is nothing here but myself and the jungle. Think about it. They sent him to this country and he's stealing from the temple. Like, that's kind of fucked up. Apparently not. The tentacles are coming for him, bro. <laughs> he's getting anime ratioed right now. Ratio. That's a very interesting way to censor the No! Word. It's just like one of my Japanese animes. Oh, this is like Sword Art Online Season 1. Velma's mom, please help. I Oh, she, he always loved her. This is what happens to everyone who loves chubby milfs, okay? Okay, well, sign me up then. That was looking kind of hot. Well, if you die with, like, an orphan like that, like, count me in, brother. Oh, this is the last time we're gonna hear the song. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Why, we, why would you, why would you say that? That's just not true. We should roll call. I'm Daphne. Oh, that was me. Were you the burger? No, I was Shaggy. Can you not tell by my cost? Do you do I look like a burger to you? You look like, you a, look snack, like a snack. snack. Yeah. It controlled our thoughts, our feelings, everything we know could be a lie. Oh, I forgot that the last episode literally ended with like an entire predeterminism versus free will like dichotomy that literally scarred all of them. Yeah, the curse forces them to be together. Our love is real, Daph. Damn right, damn right. And then Ben was like, um, actually, love is just a chemical reaction in your brain to trick you into reproducing. If anyone says that, they're getting pushed down the nearest flight of stairs. I don't care who <laughs> you are, okay? Velma says that, but the next sentence is like, but with me and hot dog water is actually, like, actually real, so. Oh, that, that was gross. Disgusting. That was that, that gross. That came out of a dog's mouth, you disgusting, dirty, filthy human being that I am currently dressed as. On the low-key, Scooby's probably more hygienic than Shaggy. That's why white women prefer them. Well, it's because it's the toilet water is so clean. Like, if we drank toilet water too, like, we would oh, be really? a lot more hygienic. Oh, oh, those summer nights. She was bad back in the day. Back in the day? You mean she just is bad. Sorry, sorry. Do you see that double chin, baby? Oh, delicious. Hola, chiquita bonita. Chiquita bonita? What the fuck? They're just all hitting on Daphne? Oh, this is kind of weird. Wait, do they just have a thing for, like, people with, gin gin like, gingers or something? If I show up to Mexico wearing this outfit, will I get hit No, the they flowers? actually loved Velma, though. So I should go to Mexico. Like Velma. Why is there a picture of you taking years before you were born? What a stupid question. Oh no, they question. oh they think they think Velma is Velma's mom, Angie. Terrible, terrible monster. I feel like I've met 700 like family members that look exactly like this woman right here. <laughs> I mean, go to the family now. Or you will pay dearly. Oh, she's yeah, gonna my... kill them. Do not enter the jungle, or you will all be doomed. That's the Latina from beforehand. Like, what other character is there? Here's the other suggestion I have. 
hot dog water. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep saying it till it's true. The accident wasn't your fault, Jack. You have to move on, okay? Hot dog water is no longer It's got to be hot dog water, but it's definitely the Latina. Would you mind bringing these canisters along? I think they may come in handy. Sure thing, Mrs. Velma's mom. Mrs. Velma's mom. Mrs. Velma's mom is the dumbest thing I've heard in my entire life. Like abandoned ship. Why is the water so shallow? The water's like to their ankles. Why do they even use a boat? This is going to be the best ever. Oh, Freddy, you're so strong and self-assured. It's so hot. It's so hot. That, uh, she's really coming on to him right now. <laughs> Why is he sniffing it? Why is he? Fred is more of a dog in this episode than fucking Scooby. Yeah, trap free Fred. Good fucking job. The one fucking time we need you to do your goddamn job, Fred. I wish to find out who became a professor Angelusosa. I totally forgot about that guy. Oh, yeah, she's jealous because her ex boyfriend was the dude who loved her. Blah, blah, blah. Lovers quarrel. He's pissing on Velma's mom. Whoa, what the fuck is. Dude, what is, <laughs> what is they are booking right it right now? Oh, they oh, caught her. It was, a, it was a remote control. I don't even know. I don't care about explanations anymore. Professor Who is this guy? That was the guy at the beginning of the episode. There's only one man I ever truly loved, and that's my husband, Mr. Dinkley. Aww. You can have him. But I don't want him. Then I'll take huh? him. What? What, <laughs> what is going on? I'm... <laughs> What the I'll take him. <laughs> then what? I'll take him. What is this love quarrel that just came out of the third one? Then it's gonna get what? The mayor. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? I, uh, I had a nightmare. It told me you were in trouble and that I had to come to the Yucatan to help you get some spear. You didn't help at all, though. I'm supposed to help you get it back over the border and home to Crystal Cove. She just had a dream and she imme like she she just rolled with it. People are dumb in this town. Court. Yeah, the mayor know. just rolled with that. Believe in yourself. Everything will work out Aww. just fine. It won't. What if Velma's mom dies? This is death flags for Velma's mom. Just look, make it quick. Like, rip it off like a bandage. I don't even care. Previously on this... Previously on, on CGI boat. What? Someone shit all over the... Like, Zoic Scoop! It left a complete trail. Dude didn't even whine. Bro, every building in this town must be made out of fucking cardboard. They're like, this shit gets knocked down every Tuesday. Maybe everyone just left the town because it sucks and because they get like attacked like every day. So I think no, it makes sense. No, it's the sense. episode of SpongeBob where like they they all leave the town except SpongeBob. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. Back, yeah. And Sheriff Bronson's gonna be like, oh, okay. Why? Why? Huh? They find out they just built Crystal Cove on a sinkhole. <laughs> you mean like all of Florida? Mom? Mom? Her mom <laughs> died already? She was relevant for one episode and they killed her! We'll bring them all back. Yeah. Thumbnail. Oh my god, look at Velma's face. It even took my Nova from the hospital. I took Nova too? Yeah, put her out of her misery. Like, she's been on life support for months, Scooby. Like, let it go. She's not coming back. They laughed at Jules Verne when he wrote about submarines and going to the moon. Like they use submarines to go to the moon? <laughs> <laughs> that what a like dumb, listening. dumb joke. You can see they're coming into direct alignment. This looks like the Science. Big Bang Theory intro. Our, Our whole universe, universe was... was <laughs> it actually <laughs> is. She just yeah, put on Big Bang Theory. Ago. And she's like, so if you look at the opening theme to one of my favorite TV shows, Big Bang Theory. The humor just relates to me. We know that the heart of the jaguar is supposed to be able to Bro, they the they are not listening. And Shaggy looks like he's high and he's trying to <laughs> like he's paying he's, attention. He's like so like the edible just kicked he's in just like us. and like everything is blurry and like moving in slow motion. He's like just don't move, don't move, pretend you're fine. <laughs> Why are they dancing? Why are they move? <laughs> oh, well that's why they were dancing for the Obviously. sake of convenience. The Underminer! The Underminer from Incredible? <laughs> Krieg Stoffa bots, so that's what they're calling them, okay. Did they put they put the town to work in mines? What the fuck? <laughs> Hold on a second. Camp. Concentration camp! And the dog is still Why in the dog. Why did Why they take the dog? Them? Like, that's just what? a waste of resources. How are you suffering, Brad? 
that? Well, I'm the one who has to look at you. <laughs> Stop our bots, destroy all the workers. Destroy? The kill bot? them all? I won't do it. I won't be a part of this madness anymore. This is so dark. Just so like, amazingly evil and cruel. That tunnel is a runoff channel of the Crystal Cove River. I can drive the mystery machine right in through there. What the hell? They're doing a, a uprising within the Nazi regime. I love you, Daphne Blake. Holy oh. shit! He said it! Jack, that must feel really weird considering how you're dressed right now. Like, do you feel like cucked in like a weird way? Maybe it's easier for him to self-insert into Daphne kissing Fred. It's a little bit of both. I feel cucked, but also sexually satisfied. Doesn't that just That's mean just you are a cuck? cuck? That's just yeah. getting cucked. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that, that goes lit. so hard. Wait, is that a giant version of the... The, the pizza? The cursed the pizza? pizza? Hey, yo. Yo. What? Holy <laughs> yo. shit, that's awesome. I love you, Janet Mayor Nettles. There's yo. a lot of I love yous in this episode, but should have been the mayor. Should have been the mayor. True. Should have been old, the mayor. Should have been, been the old mayor. Yeah. Mess with my shaggy. You mess with me. Yo. What? Yo. Say hello oh, to my God. little oh, my friends. Versus yeah. Terminator moment. What the hell is happening? <laughs> Kill that fucking bird! Kill the Hitler bird! They do first blood, not me. Bro, Bro that's no hard as fuck. What is with Scooby in this episode? Oh my god, is he gonna destroy the mystery van? <gasps> no, this is like the this is like losing the Going Mary. Oh, the mystery machine, dude. It's like the Going Mary, man. Just like horse. Stop said. saying it's like the Going Mary. It's <laughs> nothing like the Going Mary, okay? This is yeah, it's even more, more emotional. emotional. And more soon. I like how he has no urgency. Like, he, how do you have time for this exposition right now? That's the number one character flaw of every evil person. They must monologue relentlessly. They literally are not capable of shutting the fuck up. I need Scooby Doo. Oh, it's because Scooby Doo's Scooby part alien. Soon. Soon I will be free. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nibiru is talking? Nibiru is giving corpse husband some competition, though. Is Pericles just like an arsonist and he just wants, like, does he know that he's gonna, like, burn the entire world down? I don't like, think he what, does know. What does Pericles think is gonna happen? Like, money, riches, fame, power? All I'm saying is Pericles should just get a 9 to 5 and work like the rest of us, bro, in the coal mines. We're on Twitch in the coal mines and he should be here, too. That's the last hamburger. Ow. He gave him the bigger piece. Aww. That just goes to show how strong their bond is, chat. You know what's getting serious when Shaggy and Scooby aren't binge eating, bro? This is when the show really takes a turn for the worst. You know what's serious when there aren't giant four bellies? The third king is the element of Earth. The second key is the element of water. The four oh. elements. Shut the fuck up. It's Avatar The Last Airbender also, as well as Full Metal Alchemist. Mercy. Oh, oh my oh, god! No. no Marcy! <laughs> no way, no. But th she was pretty flexible. That was a small box. How long has she been in there? It was a cooler full of hot dog water. They kept her in there. Oh, the suck game. The suck game. Oh my god, imagine. That's like sticking your dick in the vacuum cleaner. Like, you know, it's dangerous, but there's no greater pleasure. Ah, what is the meaning of this? Yeah, it's killer. Kill him. Kill him. Snap his neck. Snap his little bird neck. It would be so easy. I'll hold them off as long as I can. Go. Now. Blow a kiss to Velma. Marcy. They need to make out right now or the show is literally a zero out of ten. The writers literally said they wanted it to be gay and they couldn't make it gay. Let them kiss. Let them kiss. Let them kiss. Did they just kill hot dog water? Oh my god, what? Oh my god. No. There's no fucking way they just killed Marcy. <laughs> What the fuck? Velma can't get shit in Detroit. Pericles is really the most evil motherfucker on the planet, man. They killed Cassidy and Hot Dog Water, the two most attractive characters in the show. Think about that. Are they trying to say something? Oh my god, it looks like a fucking, <laughs> like, children's toy cartoon. It looks like they're trying to sell me Bakugan or something. They weren't selling enough Scooby merch, <laughs> so they need to introduce more merchandisable characters, like 
generic CG rock guy. I can't get over. I'm I'm like I'm still stuck on Marcy right now. Like I'm not I'm, I'm my brain isn't here for this action scene right now. I'm just thinking about hot dog water. There is literally no it's reason for them to bring her back. They just killed her just so we could hate Pericles more. But maybe she's still alive. She's not alive. They come back and they find her like bullet riddled body. That would be awesome. Thank you for elaborating on that, Cor. I Those two waters are completely different. That's just water. What is this water? This <laughs> water so looks so weird. This episode looks so goofy. The planospheric disk not only maps three-dimensional space, but the fourth dimension of time and beyond. Worlds between worlds. So the planospheric disk controls time? Or what What did she just say? I'm, I'm with Scooby and Shaggy. I have no idea what's happening. I'm a nerd emoji her, but like... The planospheric disk is the key to the multiverse of madness. Hey, look. Whoa! Don't drink the CG water though. Do not drink that CG water. That shit is poisonous. That's true. They got microplastics in the CG water. You don't want all that. Why did they let Shaggy do the firing though? Well, Shaggy looks like a looks the closest to a school shooter, so they thought he would be have the best shot, to be honest. What do you mean by that? Are you talking about me or the one in the show? I brought you together as I brought all those together before you. I made you into friends. I formed the Discord server. I am the mod. I am the Discord mod. I've been grooming you since you since you joined. Jesus Christ, he's a grooming Discord mod. They're neurodivergent and minors, Nabiru. Like, can you like lay off? Oh, the sludge is going, uh... So this is not good. This does not look... <laughs> eclipse? Oh, it's the Berserk Eclipse is about to occur. We'll never set you free. That's too bad. Do it! Do it! Just do it! Just do it! <laughs> what? Shut the fuck up, Scooby. How he hesitated. Why'd you hesitate? Scooby fell off, man. Scooby fell off. Ew, it's a gross, like, fl flying spaghetti monster. That, be sh that should be looking like zucchini on a pizza, bro. What the hell? Oh, my God, zucchini? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This most evil of all we imprisoned in a crystal sarcophagus between worlds. Oh, my God, Purges it is Full Metal Alchemist, because that's like the fucking evil little goober in the jar. Goober in the jar. Oh, my God. The Alianza Mysterio and their skunk, El Fuchi. The mystery gang and their bull time. We don't need to hear all their names again. We did this last time. You don't understand. The Tumblr artists need this, okay? It might not be for you, but think about all the people who are going to benefit from this information. Bro, the, this is the last time we're hearing the intro, though. What if they use the hot dog water version of the opening for this one? Oh my god, and she's dead like she has bullet holes? <laughs> <laughs> That's so, so fucked up. Forget the dog! Consume me! Give me the power! The bird is gonna die! Good, good. Kill him. Ah, ah. It sounds like he's coming. Stop coming, Pericles. He's coming. He's, the, the bird is coming. Let's be real. Let's um, be honest. What? What? He's the biggest bird! I'm the biggest bird. I'm the biggest bird. I am Motherfucker is a squid. Dude, he's not squidding around anymore, Jack. I would stop laughing at him. Otherwise, you don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> he, he's just eating. Okay, he just ate Fred's parents. What? He ate what? Professor Pericles. This is so insane. Bro, Professor Pericles turned into Cthulhu, man. What the hell happened? Run, kids. Get out of here now. Oh, my goodness. Noble sacrifice. No. Miss You're Reed. too fat. Let, let him go, let him go. He'll give you time to run. He's so fat, he'll take so long to eat. They're killing people like fucking nothing in these last episodes. I guess they're like, what are you gonna do? Cancel us? What were the people on writing this show? Like, what the fuck is- This is Scooby-Doo! This is Scooby-Doo! I think they might have been hidden the same shit Shaggy was. This is oh. so violent. Did this air on Cartoon Network? Oh my god. What the fuck is this? No, the show! No! No, 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 no,
he was a snack though. The sheriff was a snack, like on the on God. Did they kill the sheriff? Is he dead? I think they're gonna be able to reset time or something because they specifically said it has like control over time. He fro he's literally Jojo. He's Jotaro. Did he just Zawaru though on these what? bitches right now? <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have laughed at that. It was kind of inappropriate. I mean, whoops, my bad. This show is fucking bonkers, man. I I don't even know what to say. Dude, the end of Attack on Titan isn't as crazy. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> and it's significantly worse. Whoa. What the hell? Bro, she's doing some Mario speedrun tactics right now. What the fuck was that? Oh, God. Oh, God. I've seen Sword Online. I don't know. I don't want to see where that scene's going to go. Did they just all die at the end? That would be fucking crazy. No, they're not gonna fucking die. You think they're gonna die at the end of the Scooby-Doo show, bro? I don't know. It would be a crazy plot twist, man. Who knows? Yo! Yo! Karate kick, the, dude. The karate kick. Dude, Scrappy-Doo could never. <laughs> Scrappy-Doo wishes he was him. You're not him. You're not that guy. What are you talking about? This is Scrappy-Doo. Scrappy-Doo is evil. That's Scrappy-Doo. Die, Pericles. It's not Pericles anymore. Pericles died a long time ago. No, Scooby. Oh. He grabbed his tail. <laughs> he got the tail. Scooby ass POV, man. That's the most dramatic shot of all time. Oh, they're in space. This is the end of the universe. The Big um, Bang Theory. Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state. The town looks untouched. Is this like a dream or something? This is purgatory. They're all dead. Is this the end of loss? Hey, you kids! <gasps> They're alive, you kids! This is fucked up. They should have never had children. You should have saved yourself for the old mayor. My beautiful husband and I want to pass that blessing on to you. Yo, Cassidy's alive, and he's and Mr. E isn't fat. Yo, interracial marriage. And the bird isn't a Nazi in this universe. That's good, I guess. Please, Marcy, please tell me what's going on. Yo! This is no time for fooling around. It's time for sex. That would be also fooling around, though, so no. <laughs> Serious business. What are you talking about? I gotta tell the gang. That's my girl. Yo. Hey, yo. She said yo, it. it's canon. By destroying it, it was as if it never existed. So everything it touched. It changed all of time? This shit changed fucking thousands of years of history has been fundamentally altered by this. This is unironically the end of Jojo part six. <laughs> How do I know this? How you ask in your purblind ignorance? It's obvious as antlers on a chihuahua. Antlers on a chihuahua. What What did he just say? Hyper to, I, he said some words and I, they, he said them. That's why I'm able to remember every timeline ever created. And believe me, this has happened before. This has happened before. He's saying this isn't the first time the timeline has been changed. At Miskatonic University. I want you in my class next semester. Oh shit, this was trying to set up for a college arc. That never happened. Bro, that would have been so cool. That never happened. Then we got Be Cool Scooby-Doo. And we got what? Velma. Damn. We got the shittiest fucking shit ever. And we'll stop and solve every mystery we find along the way. Whoa, a mystery solving road trip. What a, what a interesting ending to the show. Like, I don't hate it, but I... I don't feel like it's very conclusive. I feel like it's almost a cop-out, you know what I mean? It's like really open-ended. True, and that's what I don't like because they never kept going with the fucking show, so. Marcy's still alive again, though. That's, that's base. <laughs> Who cares? She, she deserved to die. She had it coming. Why? Because she's gay? Is that why? Not because she's gay. I, I think just because she wears glasses, Core. I think people with glasses should be killed. Thank you, Scooby-Doo. You are the bravest dog. <laughs> <laughs> Scooby just forgot about his ex. Like, he doesn't even care about... I, I, I already hit that. I already hit that. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed what? that, I don't even know what to say. That was good. That, that was, was crazy. That was... That was... Un it was unique. Oh, it's a, it's a prequel to the original show? Like, the very first cartoon? Oh, I didn't know that. Well, I guess that makes it look much better. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Check out the other videos in our end card if you haven't seen them. And check out our Patreon. Thanks for our patrons.
Thank you, Ace and Hole, Alan, Alfredo, Argo, Fargadar, Autumn, Black Man, Bubs, Case, Crescent, Dan, Dan Tepic, Detone, Deadman, Dusty, Dylan, Doggo, Duck, Elizabeth, Fat Pup, Trev, Heather, Helmboy, K99, Caitlin, Kamui, Carter, Kia, Kyla, Esses, Madison, Mario, Matthew, Michael, Delta, PBJ, Ryan, Sam, Sim, Swarmer, Chimar, Tatum, Trippy, Ducky, True, Whitavers, Yathug, Angel, Texan, Atomic, Ava, Black Knight, Blank, Bunny, Corgi, Daniel, Daniel, Hyena, Forrest, Jake, Chrisito, King Red, Marquizel, Matthew, Netlith, Quentin, Are the Mercy, Rashawn, Reverted, Stellar, Sully, Tech, Tyson. Thanks.